the other one to unconfused people. <laughs> Look at this. This is from Grace. So good. It's going. It's going good. It's going as well as it always does. What else do you need to know? God. Piece of shite. Shiza Minnelli. Oh, now it's doing the thing where it cuts off the whole side so we can't read the chat. That's my favorite. There we go. Okay, but is it actually coming through? We're back again for now. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Is your audio? It's not picking me up. It's not. Yeah, it is. You're down here. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Right there. I want my control room. Where is it? There it is. Okay, all right, entertain the people while I get the thumbnail switched over because it's not on this computer. We're, okay, I'm entertaining oh, you now. It's not even on this website. I'm on the wrong damn website. I'm getting some direct messages and uh, things are going fine. For your, about as well as you could expect. As well as ever. Yep. This computer sucks. I gotta quit using it for this. Every, every time I'm like, I'm gonna quit using this computer for this. And I don't. Because that'd be dumb. That'd be stupid. Why fix the problem when you can just double down on it every month? Right. This is more fun. Yes. Yep. That's just how it's done. It's and the adult thing to do. That is the dork in the road method. Mm -hmm. You know. It's such a good thumbnail, it's a shame to waste it. When I gave you a dick in the box and a Santa Claus hat. <laughs> Did everybody notice that in the thumbnail? The little, uh, the little Easter egg? And I mean little. I did nearly actually attach a box to the front of my pants before. I, <laughs> I, I really thought about doing that. That would be funny, dude. Yeah. I could have. I could have just been standing behind the couch with a box and all. Yeah, you the could. There's plenty of presents that. around. Yeah. It's that time of year, man. Okay, I'm gonna change the thumbnail and then I'm gonna delete the old one so people don't get confused. I'm gonna take this sweater off. This well, already? Jeez, we're getting to that time of night. You haven't even drank anything. I had. What do, you th what do you think's in my flask? Apparently naked juice. <laughs> which, you know, I need to borrow some of that. Yeah. For reasons and purposes. Reasons, yeah, right. Okay. There we go. Now, go back to the... F oh my god, you're killing me, dude. Uh, it's working. I know, it's not that. I'm trying to get... I'm in the wrong menu. This computer is so slow. This is great footage, everybody. Yeah, enjoy it. It's always like me with technical difficulties for the first half an hour. So Trav brought the technical difficulties this time. I did, it's me. I know, Trav's taking off his clothes. Yep. It's like I told him, save that for the after party, and he's like, nah, I'm, I'm dropping the gold right now. And it created static electricity, and it screwed up the Wi-Fi signal. So now his hair is standing on end. Right. But not on his face. Okay, this Lots one, pieces of getting deleted. Bye, I hate you, you're dumb. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hopefully, make sure I'm not deleting the one we're doing at the moment. Because that would be bad. Mm -hmm. Delete forever. I understand that deleting is permanent and it can't be undone. Yeah, I love how it reminds you of that. Yeah, I get it. Like, delete isn't a final... Right. Well, sometimes you can recover things, I don't know. There you go. Tall man says you're famous YouTuber, just buy a new computer. I don't think it's a computer, man. No, it is a computer, but I have another one upstairs. I'm just too lazy to bring it down here. Also, TSCO error. That's what we used to. Uh, that's what we used to call it when I worked at Circuit City. Huh. Yeah, too stupid to operate. Well, well and then thing. we'd have him fill out an ID ten T form. Oh, I need to get some more forms. Yeah, right. You know, because it spells idiot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna be wearing the sweater much longer either. But I got to show you what it's built for before we do anything else. Yeah, empty the cup before you put it in there, and then stand up. I'm gonna go get a beer. Yeah. It's got a kangaroo pouch. Okay. Talk to the people. Talking to the people. How you doing, everybody? Tell them what we're giving away, even though I didn't tell you yet. We're, we're, apparently, we're giving all kinds of stuff away. The only things that I know for sure are um, Explore Adventure Moto stickers. Oh. And. Oh, shit. And the, other, and the other thing. Do you want a beer? Sure. Because Ken sent me some beers. We should drink them. Oh, he did? Yeah. Nice. What did he send? He sent me a. Giant made of shadows, Belgian style strong ale. Thanks, and Ken. An old Scrooge Christmas ale. 
Ten oh. percent, and this is nine. Holy crap! I want the Christmas sale. All right. So Ken, you're in here, right? I just saw him. Ken Ken Kayser sent us these, or sent me these, and he also sent me a bunch of Mr. Puff Puffs in a Coors Light can. Um, but it was a a, can, a, a twist off can. Oh, sorry, oh, you're gonna oh, get kicked God. a lot. Oh. It's all right. You have another knee. I do. <sighs> your girlfriend's mad at you for watching it. Well, it's because you're ignoring her. Why don't you pay attention to your lady? But anyway, he sent us these really good beers, or me, since he Trav gave him a bogus address, so he didn't get his package. I gave him a real address. There's <laughs> something wrong with the address people. He was here, and then he's probably still in the old stream, which I just deleted. 10%, how is that? You, you deleted Ken. Uh, there he is. There he is. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Ken. Oh, yeah, that is, uh, that's potent. This is this is not bad at all. No, but I'm gonna be drunk. So get ready for that. That's why I have a moderator. So we're doing that. Sorry about the um. Sorry about the the freaking furnace is so loud right now. I don't know why. That's really close. So there's gonna be a fan noise in the background. I apologize. Normally I would put the mic closer, but I won't be able to hear Travis. So. Yep. Uh, so we're giving away the flat pack, solo stove from Bigfoot Bushcraft with a fire starting kit. Nice. That one's USA only. Sorry, I always ask. Um, we're giving away a Giant Loop one gallon armadillo bag with two cinch straps and a t-shirt. That is not USA only. That is anywhere. I just got one of these. In the world. Yeah, armadillo bag. Did yeah. I say gas bag? You said... They're not called gas bags. Rewind it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Armadillo bag. <laughs> I forgot to use this for what it's and for. And I got a one gallon. Because I want to try and hit the... Oh. Uh, oh. Hawaii. Is that how you say that? The Hawaii... Uh, like the canyon lands. I literally that, have no idea. That giant loop next year. Hmm. That's what I want to try and do. Um, that would be fun. Oh, I forgot what else I was saying. Oh, what we're giving away. I haven't even been drinking that much. I'm going to give away two t-shirts tonight. Two Dork and the Road t-shirts from the, uh, the Teespring. So you get to pick the design, but it's a classic tee. That's what I'll send you. You probably will not get those before Christmas because Teespring is slow AF. It legitimately takes three or four months, three or four weeks every time, so sorry. Um, and then Moto Camp Nerd, Big Ben over at Moto Camp Nerd, is giving us a Micah Basin camp chair. So my new chair, the one that's all metal, so no plastic connections. It's all, the metal goes through the metal, so it's super sturdy if you're a pudgy guy like me. <laughs> Don't be sexist, Brad. And, uh, <laughs> and also a Fly Creek UL2 tent, so a bikepacking tent. Not exactly the one I have, but the one I was going to buy. It's actually the one Joe Robinette uses in his videos, which is the one I almost got, but he didn't have them in stock, so I got um, the other one instead. But very, very nice price. Very, very nice, nice moto camping tent. Very nice. Yeah. Um, That's something I still got to set up as my merch store. Yeah, I know. I thought we were going to debut it tonight, and then... Do you guys want me to start a merch store? You didn't start... It, it, it literally takes 15 minutes to put up a design... And he already has the logo, and he's like, eh, I don't know, I don't really have time. Right. Yeah, 15 minutes. I mean, I could. The, my, old merch, my old merch store is still up. You could do it right now and have it set up bef in time to give shit away on the stream. Right, but on, well, I mean, I can, I can do that anyway. That's true, you could. Um, yeah, I'll so should he do it? I'll, th I'll throw in a couple of shirts that I can have custom oh. to you print. Oh, he could, but that is a way huger pain in the ass than just having a sample sent directly from Teespring. Because it's got to be shipped twice. You could have them shipped direct. How about this? I will also throw in two t-shirts for giveaways tonight. And by the time I get home tonight, the new merch store will be set up. You're going to do it in the car? Shortly after I get home, <laughs> the new merch store will be set up. <laughs> He's not going to go home tonight. He's going to stay here. He's going to drink too much. Mmm. That's thick. Thick. -ca 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 -ca. Uh, I have a list. Oh, but I closed it because I had to restart the damn computer. I will keep a list of winners here as well. All right. You don't have to, but I appreciate it if you want to. I was going to print the list out. I didn't get that far. Critter and I got your back. Right, Critter? You guys are the best. It's McLovin is no longer exists. Pretty yeah. sure I imagined him in the first place. Um... Yeah, that's all that's on tap, unless, unless any more surprise giveaways show up. Travis did not ride home or down, because he's probably going to crash here, let's be honest. Safety first, but it's, it's pretty goddamn cold. Pretty cold. Yeah, I was actually thinking about riding the big, big bike, because it has heated grips. 
the adventure sports. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. But I did not. What up, Chad Smith? Uh, are you going to Expo West? I was going to go this last year, but we actually left for the BDR the last day of it, of Overland Expo. Was it the, the United States? I don't think so. I don't know. But uh, It's going to be the same thing this year. It won't be because we're going way earlier this year. We're going two weeks earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's way tighter with Touratech, but not with Overland. Well, possibly not for me, though, if I don't go to Touratech. Right. Well, no, I'm just saying it's a conflict, potentially not Yes. Right. for sure. I, I would go to Expo West this year, I think. I wanted to last year. I was going to go, and then, one, they never got back to me about, like, presenting. So, and I emailed several times. And, uh, two, it just by the time it came down to it, I was so stressed about getting back and getting, turning and burning to get on the, uh, on the BDR that I just didn't go. And then we ended up leaving a day early, and Tim was super pissed. Because he was the only one that didn't get the message. <laughs> and he had to, like, haul ass and meet us on the second day and then go ride the whole route. And, like... I thought I was being funny, but I was like, in hi- retrospect, I could see how it looked like I was being a dick. <laughs> Hindsight. Well, we know each other better now, so now he would know how to interpret that. Right. Yeah. Suffice it to say, he got over it. Yeah, he did. Probably. Yeah, yeah. We've been camping every Wednesday. <laughs> Not the last few, but like literally four Wednesdays in a row we camped. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're doing the Oregon BDR with Nathan. Um, basically as soon as it's open because you get a chance to go with the guy that made the route you take it I'm going to learn all the campsites Mm -hmm. and he's going to be the leader too so yeah I'm just going to follow him no chance we can get lost except he's going to want to push and that's not true he likes to stop and eat at restaurants and stuff I just as long as I can get beer every day that's like that was like my most stressful thing well that and people breaking their legs and disappearing but, like, on a daily basis, was like, will I be able to get beer and then get camping before it gets warm? It's an and, important consideration. Yeah, which is why I end up getting seltzers a few nights, because they taste a lot better warm yep. than beer. Mm-hmm. Tear attack. It's a, it's a blast, dude. Tim could cook his meat with just a Zippo. Are you saying his meat is really small? No comment. Yep, critter. The orbiter. Yeah, tall man, this I'm being vague because we have a really huge group already and I even have certain people on the uh on the standby alternate list already, so you can be on that list if you want, but it is not my trip. So I'm not inviting people or I didn't even tell Travis about it because I wasn't sure if he was invited. And then Travis starts talking to me about our trip, and I was like, well, shit, I can't do both. So I asked Nathan if I could invite him, and he's like, I thought you were going to. And I was like, well, shit, you didn't tell me. Yeah. I wouldn't... Sorry, go ahead. It's, it's because I shaved off most of my beard. He didn't know and, you were. And they didn't want to be seen with me anymore. Mm-hmm. But um, I did tell Nathan that I would wear that thing that he, that he liked. Yeah. And he let me right into the group. Yeah. You know those... Um, you know, like in the cowboy movies where they have, they're in the outhouse and they run out... With the, the long johns with the butthole flap, that's what Trav's going to wear for Nathan. Oh, well, now I need to get a pair of those. Yeah, you got to get some butthole flap overalls. With the love of knobs <laughs> on the flap. Look at the buttons. <laughs> oh, that's good. That might be a thing now. Watch out for videos. Oh, man. That might be a thing. That would be a thing. Well, people found us, it looks like, so that's good. Good. That's good. Tim eats his meat raw. He does. That guy... He showed up here when we came with a frozen piece of chuck roast. It wasn't even a steak. And I swear to God, he put it on the grill, counted to ten, flipped it over, and t- he did. I'm not, okay. I, it was more like two minutes each side, but like I would have cooked that thing for half an hour. <laughs> as frozen as it was. <laughs> he likes that shit raw. Yeah, you can take Pop that any way you down want. And freaking plop it on the plate. Yeah. Right, run it through a warm room. What did he say? Cut the horns off, wipe its ass, and slap it on a plate? Yep. Yep. That's Guess what he, he said. Did. That's how he eats a steak. What a guy. There's 110 watching, by the way, and 24 likes. Let's hit that thumbs up. Peeps. Peeps. You got to dress for success. See? Bob knows. Bob knows what's up. Yeah, I would not be shocked if I ran the Oregon BDR at least twice next summer. 
I mean, okay, we'll start to finish once, and we're doing a 10-day trip because Nathan wants to do the X, too. So it's going to be a long trip, but I'm 45... Okay, well, I don't know exactly where it's running, but hypothetically, I'm 45 minutes from a place where I could get on it. So I could go do weekend trips or even overnights on it, um, which is sort of my plan to just, like, do the... The north portion, maybe a two-nighter, and yeah. then go south and come home, things like that. So, I'm very excited for that aspect. So. Yeah, we, it'll be nice to not have to take 500 miles to get there. Yep. You know. And when you want to get ready for another BDR, like Idaho or Wyoming, mm -hmm. you just go out and get some practice on the Oregon BDR. Right, right. Yep. As sections of it will open, I'm sure. I'm sure half of it's closed for fire danger still. Yeah, I'm curious about the difficulty. Nathan has revealed very little. He's done really well. Um, I know that, did you see that on the uh, the NorCal BDR, they're making it a little bit easier? They want it to be the sort of beginner BDR? I heard that. That's going to be cool. To get it ready for the literal shitstorm they're going to hit when they go south. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, which is hilarious. <laughs> don't don't think it's that way the whole way. Uh, Kevin, there's always an after party, dude. That's why Trav's here. To make the after party happen. Exactly, Delta. Those things, they just balloon. Washington, Oregon, Idaho. Man, dude, I hope you get farther this time than last time. You need to ride with, with people that will go the pace that you're comfortable with. Ding, ding. And not... I'm going to say, encourage is the wrong word, but require isn't it either. Somewhere in the middle nudge you towards maybe going at a pace faster than you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Let's say that. For the most part, we had that when we did the Washington. Yeah, I don't, well, especially because the group kept dwindling. Right. So, you know, yeah. by the end of the time, it was just Tim graciously going slow with me <laughs> so we could get done. Yeah, dude can ride. Yeah, dude yeah, ride. yeah. Well, he caught us in an unbelievably fast, mm -hmm. like it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. What a guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Austin, great question. Dragonflight came out on Monday, so I literally took three days off this week to play the new WoW expansion. That's right. Horde for life, baby. Loktar Ogar. <laughs> Trying to get Travis to play, but he's like, I don't know, video games. I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite lately. Multiplayer. Did you ever finish Elden Ring? Nope. Did you get inspired to play Halo Infinite when you were here? I did. Yeah? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I got a new couch. I got the living room all oh no, I love redecorated the and set couch. Up. Yeah. Thank, thanks, Kevin. Cheers to Kevin. Cheers. Cheers, to Kevin. Tim's not here, man. I should have Tim on next month. Happy New Year with Tim, because in February it's going to be Nathan. So the the first Friday in February is like seriously February fourth or something, and Nathan is going to be on the stream to tell us about the Oregon BDR basically right when it's released. Mm -hmm. So he's volunteered to come on the stream and really, he'll be able to talk about it then. So, and if I have to push it back a week, I will. Um, just so that we can have, so like one of the first places where you can get your questions answered about the new route will be here on this stream because Nathan's going to come be on it. Boom. So I'm excited about that. I'll have more questions than you guys. Pretty awesome. Do do do. I'd like to get to the point where I know the Oregon BDR well enough to like lead. Um, I don't know about tours necessarily, but groups. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be responsible for people, but I'm happy to like share my expertise and campsite knowledge. Be a group lead. Yeah, that that's what's going to be very nice about going with. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting the heads up on all that stuff to begin with. Yeah. Right. Listen to that. That's the that's the pump for the pressure tank. It's very interesting. I'm learning all these things now that we're off city water. All the things that you have. It also with having him organizing it and set, and uh, being the leader. I, even if he doesn't know yet, Nathan, sorry, you're the leader. <coughs> Last time I rode with Nathan, he made me be the leader, even though he knew the route better than me. So we'll see. Right, but. He's going to know the good place to stop to get good shots and views. Yeah, and yeah. yep, yeah, and he'll want all to. That stuff. Grace, yeah, so that, and thank you for the very helpful reminder. So I don't know if you guys saw the video, but uh, going to ride Baja, are you coming? No. Sucks. I wanted you to come. Um, at the end of February, I'll be, I'm, 
riding in uh, from Baja, California, from Cabo San Lucas up to San Diego, and you guys can come with. So uh, it's not a cheap trip, but it is going to be a cool once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to ride Mexico on an adventure bike. And uh, good God, shut up. Is she running the dishwasher? I need a pocket door right here. I'm going to have to rethink where I'm streaming from. Um, come do the ride, good time, fun, Mexican food. And with a side of Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah, well, we, d we drink bottle water. Bottle water. Bottle water. Bottle water? Balaclava. I drink my balaclava. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it costs what it costs, Critter. That's what it costs to do a 10-day guided tour with a motorcycle rental. There's, It's not like it's cheaper doing it with someone else. Yeah, consider if you uh, fly overseas to do a guided tour through Italy, Rome, whatever, something like that, you're going to spend about the same amount of money. Pretty easy. Yep. Oh, you'll spend more to go to, I mean, yeah, because your flight's going to be so much more. And, yes. Uh, and you can ride your own bike on this one. I don't relish the idea of trying to get down to Cabo on my own. Uh, tall man, it's at the end of February. I made a video about it, dude. Check it. Or if you just go on their website, on the Ride Adventures site, it literally says, Ride with Dork in the Road on the dates that we're doing it. But very end of February and uh, through the... I think that we end on the 5th of March. So I'm going to ride... I would like to ride one of their Tenere's. I'm not taking my bike because I'm not riding down. I'm going to fly down. Uh, but since I'm not paying, I'll probably end up on whatever bike is not being used. It doesn't make sense for me to take one away from a paying customer. So I would rather not do it on the 500X. Not that I don't like the 500X, but I want to ride hard. Um, maybe they'll have a uh, Desert X by then. I doubt they will. They <laughs> might have some 890s. They were thinking about maybe getting some 890s because the 790s are interesting. But uh, Africa Twin. They have a bunch of Africa Twins. They have a 2022. Nice. I wouldn't mind riding that. But Tenere would be my first choice. Yeah, much lighter. Yeah, well, and I'm sort of experienced with it. Yeah. Except for it's not here again. I loaned it to Seth from Molecule Motorsports. He took it to Portland today to get it 3D scanned because mm. he's building a plastic skid plate for it. Nice. Yeah. So look forward to that. It'll be on there eventually. But he's just a guy that Andrew knows. And I actually randomly saw him in the Tenere 700 group. He was like, Is anyone near Albany, Oregon have a 22 Tenere? And I was like, Yep. Yes, how are we not friends already? <laughs> You're in Albany? <laughs> so, yeah, I sent him a message and I was like, yeah, you need to just take mine and it'll work out well for all of us. Mm -hmm. Later, Matt. See you later, Matt. Oh, good question. Giant Loop opens for signups in February. No, it'll be January. The best way to know is to get on the newsletter. Um, so go to the website, at the very bottom of the page, there's a... a, a Nope, I'm not even drunk. There's a subscribe link. You type in your email address because that is the people that will know the second it opens up. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel because I will make a video the day that it opens up. But uh, if you want to get in, because they had like twice as many or attempts at registration as they had spots last year, mm -hmm. and it's just limited space. It's just not enough space at the campground. And so, th And this year, uh, Harold, I think, is still giving preference to the people who were on the waiting list didn't get to go mm -hmm. last year. Well, I might suggest that the people on the mailing list get it a day early. Yeah. That's... I might throw that out there. Yeah. So if you really want to go, I would get on the mailing list. And, you know, I'm, people keep asking me, is it going to continue when Harold's not running the company anymore? Because you guys know that they sold the company um, to you, Sweet. And, you know, I don't, I assume so, but, you know, it sure would help if it was a huge success year after year. So, please go and help us continue to make it happen. Harold may not be the one running it in two or three years, but it would not shock me if he showed up. But it's a heck of a lot of fun every single time. Mm -hmm. You, if you're not going, you are missing out. It's the most fun. It's the most fun. I feel like I've been talking this whole time. Do you want to talk about something? Uh, also, by the time Giant Loop happens, it's, it's going to be... Well, the BDR will have already been released. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So depending on where in the state it goes through. Well, we know it. So we know there's a Steens Alvord BDRX. I yeah, saw yes, that on yeah. some official something. So ADV rider, which yeah. means it connects to that. Which means that we are going to see some of the area that the BDR goes through. Mm -hmm. You can even maybe ride part of it. I might even suggest that to Harold. That might be what we do. That would be a yeah. That'd be a last minute setup for 
That would be very good for us, though. Mm -hmm. Get a heads, uh, one month heads up on it. Any tips to get him into riding a motorcycle? Um, it's super fun. That's that. I mean, that's that's why I got into it. <laughs> um, don't have him watch my videos because it'd be like, is it required that I'm a huge idiot to do this? Obviously. Well, yes. It is, though. Yeah, we, well, okay. To a de you have to disregard your personal safety right. to a degree. Right. What do you think? How do you get someone into wanting to motorcycle? Um, find somebody that's willing to loan them a, a dirt bike out in the woods and have them just do it just once. Just once. If, if they're into it and if they're going to like it, they will like it immediately. And a small bike is ideal. Mm -hmm. Like something you can just throw around and you don't have to be scared of. Like God, a Grom that 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 has converted so much. There's a reason why they use them for the classes. Yep. Because they're so fun. CRF two thirty would be a good one. That's a nice yeah. small, approachable hand, good handling bike. Oh, I like that. Pay for his MSF. That's smart because that is the best way to get confidence. Like, and they'll take you from literally I've never sat on a motorcycle before to watch me do a controlled skid around a ninety degree corner, mm -hmm. like in one class. Yep. So that's smart. I like that. Or yeah. This is the new climb line, yeah. It's very festive. <laughs> yeah, bacon whiskey. Uh, yeah, chicks dig motorcycles. But have you ever seen the meme? Yeah. The meme that <laughs> I dudes. inadvertently became a part of? Yeah, dudes dig it a lot more. And one thing about the MSF, or like in Oregon, we have Team Oregon classes. Oh. It's, they don't just have just a beginner class to get your feet under you and get your, your feet wet. They also have continuing education after that for more advanced classes and specific, like road riding, or uh, I think even Team Oregon has a adventure course now. No. They don't yet? They do, but it's through ride. Oh, well, they, so, well, I mean, by proxy. Which is yeah. where I was going, um, speaking, you know, shameless <laughs> plug, but you can take a class. Ride has adventure training. Once some, You need to know how to ride a motorcycle already. So get into the riding, get some street experience, but if you want to transition to the dirt, Ride has these training classes, two day class. It's only six hundred dollars. That's good for for because they're small class sizes. We were three we were three students to one instructor on the classes I was running, and I literally had three guys. I was like, "You're my three guys," and like I was checking in with them after everything, like coaching them individually, and everyone was getting that. Like nice. you just that it, it is invaluable to get the coaching, yeah. and it's, so like I would, you know, and I do get to, I do some of the coaching with them, so that's fun. So maybe I'm shamelessly plugging but at the same time it's like that's those guys the stuff that guys who had never ridden dirt before were confidently doing shit that took me a year to be confidently doing after two days it was cool to see it in, in your video series yeah they were they were getting better quickly and it, well it's all confidence yep and you know and it was great as even the guys who were struggling like we had guys i <laughs> i don't know if i told you this story but the, the last time I went, the time the guy broke his leg on the BMW, yeah. um, it, we went to a different spot I'd never been to before. And so we had him kind of, one of the drills you do is like using your clutch to to roll, roll up a hill without using the throttle, right? Learning that fine clutch control. And then they had to come back down. And so I picked, there was like three ways down the hill. And one was pretty steep and ruddy. One was kind of okay. And then one was really bad off to the side. So I was like, well, we'll do the middle one. It's not hard. And guys... We're psyching themselves out on it, and like one guy came back, no shit. I, I could, I've never seen a better example of perseverance because he must have dropped that scrambler seven times Ooh. going down because he just couldn't get enough speed. Yeah. Like he couldn't get comfortable enough to get going fast enough. He would try to go slow and slow walking, and he'd fall over. But the guy just boop right back. I'm like, dude, you know you could take it. He's like, nope, I'm going down again. We made it optional for people because and the dude he just kept going, and it was so amazing. Like good for him. Just because. That's what you need. Like that's what adventure riding is. It's like, it's not about can you clear every obstacle perfectly. It's can you keep going. Can you survive? Yeah. yeah. Right. You just have to get through it. Right. Thanks, Bob. Cheers to Bob. Cheers to Bob. Cheers to Bob. It was good times. So let's give something away. Okay. Kind of think. Let's just freaking go big. Let's give away the flat pack stove. So. Whoa. I should have grabbed it and brought it in here, but it's dirty and covered in stick bits. But if you saw the video where Tim and I camped up here on my property, I had the Bigfoot Bushcraft flat pack stove. So it's a fire pit stove. It's about this big. So it's perfect for motorcycle camping. comes in a bag, um, and it collapses. But uh, I actually 
It's also the one I used in my first fire at the campsite. So it's going to be pre-seasoned, the one you're giving away? No, you're going to get a new one. <laughs> but you're going to get that, and you're going to get their mini fire starting kit, which comes with a fire steel, a tin, and fire starters. I love their stuff. And you guys do, too. My affiliate sales for them have been through the roof. Nice. Unbelievably. Like, you guys are, are, are grabbing it like crazy. So that's awesome, because it's so, such good stuff. So... Uh, we're going to give away the flat pack stove and the fire starting kit, uh, but you have to be in the USA because they're a small company and shipping is a killer, especially when they're giving something away. I did ask. I always ask. I love you, Canadian, Australian, European, British, uh, Great Britain, Ireland, Wales, all those places. They're all different places. Yeah. You don't, you, you got to be careful who you call British. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's the thing. Yeah. Right. So don't yeah. be dumb. Um, they all have World Cup teams. Anyway, we're going to give one away. All you have to do to enter is type exclamation point enter. Quidditch, too. You do. And you have to be in the U.S. to get to win this one. If you're not in the U.S. and you win, then I, you will do the walk of shame because I will have to give it away again and be like, oh, that, that person Brian didn't Curtis, take it. How you enter the giveaway is you're going to find out here in just a second. You're going to get, you're going to get instructions. Exclamation point enter. Boom. Just do what everyone else is doing. There you go. Just like what Jay Pauly did. Jay Pauly! He needs that to go camping on his Chinese bikes. Yeah, Curtis used this exact sto or stove, fire pit. It's awesome. Ronnie DRZ has a U.S. address also. Hey, yeah. If you, It just has to be shipped to the U.S. I don't care what you do with it after that. They just won't ship it to a U an address. Wink, so wink. I should specify, you, should ha you have to be able to have it shipped to a U.S. address. But whoever you ship it to is just going to keep it because it's awesome. Always. Every time somebody just hits exclamation point and it's in. It's uh, exclamation point, the it. word enter. There's a hundred people doing it. And then hit your enter key. <laughs> yeah, don't hit enter. Type enter. It's confusing. Yeah. To be fair, when I first, many, many, many moons ago, when I first started watching your stuff, the first live stream I was on, that's what I did. Back I before typed you had a beard. exclamation point and hit enter. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did the same thing. Exclamation point beard. Right. Mmm. This is some thick ass beer. It's pretty good though. It's not bad. I'm I just, don't. I don't want to slam it. But no, it's I'm for definitely sipping. getting buzzed. Oh, it's got Willamette hops. Bigger. I have white man hops. I have it. As if to say none. <laughs> yeah, I have a um, a recital to go to tomorrow. So, a recital? Yeah. What, so what if, are you reciting? If I end up crashing on your couch, i got to leave like early. We get up ass early anyway. Yeah, true. You're reciting poetry? Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Cheers, Ken. Ken. Cheers to Ken for the beers that he bought us. No, fortunately, I am not reciting anything. Okay. Okay. I'm just in attendance. Is this your new friend's child? Uh, it, uh niece. Oh, okay. Okay. It's an old friend. No, 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 no. This is my girlfriend's niece. Okay, well, you said it, so there you go. Yeah. Hmm. It's your new friend's niece, not your niece. Right. Yes, okay. Correct. Got it. Yeah. All right. I smell what you're stepping in. Yep. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, it happens a lot. I, I step in a lot of shit. You do, you especially when you yeah. hang out with me. Yeah. I'm not really uh, discriminating about where I put it. <laughs> That's what that was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, how do you get on Ken's beer list? Well, you got to start a YouTube channel, which you have. Right. Um, I think a thousand subscribers is the base. Must be. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm a nobody, and I and apparently I'm getting some. Yeah, you have to hang out with Ken around the fire pit, smoke cigars, and use a lightsaber ding, at ding. Turatech. That's ding. how you get on the list. If you don't do all of those things, you're not on the list. Which Ken then films and you use in your video. And I'll I'll add that. You may even have to use a lightsaber in a possibly inappropriate manner, which may may not make it into video that, to begin with. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know anyone that would do that. <laughs> People need to grow up. You no. know? Just stop being children and no. babies. No. I can't believe you're not going to go. It's going to be a blast. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's just going to be too close to the, the leaving time for the other one. Too much, well, too that, much. I mean, with maybe uh, I shouldn't go. Too, too much stuff all within June. 
gets uh, busy. Awesome, John. Those are great gloves. Racers are great gloves. Thanks, John. Cheers. Thanks, John. Cheers, Cheers John. John. Cheers. Now I have to look at the calendar. I'm going to get depressed. For what? By how close those things are together. It's like the weekend before we leave. Yeah, yeah. I told my wife I wasn't going to overbook myself again. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm cutting stuff. I'm not going to okay. do the... But the weekend before, and then there's four days in between, and then I'm gone for ten days. I'm not going to do the summer opener. At least there's two weeks between Giant Loop and Turretech. Yes. I'm not going to do the summer opener either. No. Uh. What about the ADV Fest in Mojave? When is that one? Haven't been invited. It's in the, at the end of April. I don't know, I got COVID last time, so... <laughs> I don't. I don't think that that was part of the entry. No, no, that was free, the extra bonus. Yeah. I think Jake swears he gave it to me, but he didn't officially have it, so I doubt it. But it's because we were making out or rubbing our beards together. What did I say? All right, closing entries. Oh shit! What did I just click on? Beard kissing. Yeah, it's like Eskimos, but weirder. Way weirder. All right, are we ready to draw a winner? Let's see who wins the flat pack stove from Bigfoot Bushcraft. You're about to write this down, bro. I'm going to make Critter do it. He's, he will also do it, I'm sure. X unknown soldier congratulations. You have won the Bigfoot Bushcraft prize pack. Please email me at dork at dorkontheroad.com. I'm going to need your address, and I'll have them send that out to you. Unless it's not in the U.S. of A., in which case I will give it away to someone else, so let me know if you messed up. Yeah, Grace was there, so I guess if anyone can testify whether or not Jake and I made out. It could be Grace. <clears throat> That's where I met Grace. In person. At ADV Fest? Mojave? <laughs> Mojave? Yeah, we had a long talk about what the what the Ride Adventures thing was going to be, and then I think she left the company literally two days later. Yeah. So that was dumb. Uh, Critter Moto, Rockstar. Go subscribe to Critter if you haven't. Also, I, I, didn't, I realized I didn't introduce this person, but no one's asked who he is, so that's good, but... This is Travis, Explore Adventure Moto. I don't even think... No, his, his channel's linked in, in the title. There you go. So click on this channel in the title and it's, go subscribe to him. It's not like I've never been on his channel before either. So if you don't know who I am, welcome to Dork on the Road. I'm sure that he helps you subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Well, he used to be the person I went camping with the most, and then I got Timmed. Yeah. So lately it's been Tim. But Tim lives a lot closer. And he's better at bushcraft. It's true. I need the bushcraft. That's what I'm about. No more summer opener? Well, gee, last year was so fun. Not their fault. It just rained the whole time. It did. There was a lot of rain. Everybody knows Travis. Everybody loves Travis. No, no, no. Everybody knows Travis. Not everybody loves Travis. Some people know not to love Travis. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're lucky you didn't lose a bunch of viewers. Well, I mean, I usually have 200. <laughs> and here you are. Yeah. Keeping me yeah. at 100. I'm here to up the failure rate. Hey. hey. You know, shamelessness is your trademark. That's right. Where's that T-shirt? That's that's gonna be on the um, yeah whatever I'll, it's called. Else, I'm taking it back. Teespring. Everyone loves breads. <laughs> <laughs> it's true with the carbs, man. Right. They get you. What up, Urban Way? Greeting. I do have my own woods now. They all. We have the delay is something tonight. I think the internet is not being our friend. Yeah. But that's okay. Sorry, guys. We're not, like, purposefully ignoring you for 30 seconds and then saying what... We just don't see it. Most of you love Travis. Yeah, see? That's... Throwing down the truth bombs yeah. there. Grace is not one of them. Yeah, but... I, I'm included in that. She should have said most of them love Travis. <laughs> that would have been funnier. Yes. <laughs> right. Most of the other people here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know who else is here? Chewbacca. He's right there in the corner. Yep. He's right here. I cut his head off and made it into a pillow. It's just easier to deal with. That was creepy, dude. I should have, I should have done this. Yeah. Oh, good. You look better. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's not laggy, Kyle. It's just the delay. It shouldn't be laggy because I have gigabit internet now. Which is crazy. You move out in the country. I couldn't get gigabit at the old house and I was right in the city. I was literally a mile from I-5. But out here I can get it. It's because the fiber lines, they didn't have them, so they put new ones out here. Mm -hmm. But the shitty old ones still exist in the city, so they just use them. I don't know. I was stoked. Like when I, I was on the fence about whether we were buying this place, so I got on Comcast and was like, what kind of internet can I get? Gigabit? 
Babe, we're buying a house. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 That was the closing part of the deal. Mm-hmm. It was. That helped a lot. I just got upgraded to Gigabit, too. Yeah. Sweet. Didn't add anything to the bill. Yeah. Well, it's much cheaper. I was yeah. paying like 160 I think, before, and now I'm paying 98 mm. Nice. I don't have TV anymore, but I didn't ha- I didn't ever watch the TV. I just had it because it was cheaper to have it than not to have it. You guys saying that's not better? Are you talking about the, the pillow? Yeah. That's not better? <laughs> That's surprising. This should be better. It's so creepy. I love it. (laughs) Not better. Mm, 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 mm. All right, well. Yeah, we'll just go in the order on here so I can't screw it up. (laughs) Look at I'm Brad. (laughs) Thanks, Brad. So It's smart. You can only be subscribed to one at a time. Right. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to Graceful Renegade if you haven't. we got to get her to 1,000 subs. It's shameful that she's not there yet. Truth. I mean, who doesn't want to watch a pretty girl ride around the country on a motorcycle? It seems like a really popular formula. Which, f- with far better video videography than either yeah. one of us. An like, actual, an artist and a writer. Boom. Yeah, right. Yeah, everything Everything about Grace's channel is better than what we do. Except there's less beards. True. Well, true. Yeah. Don't. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've given away another armadillo bag, Hyperspaz. Also, oh shit. Mm. 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 Talk about it or not talk about it? Mm. Let me, I'll be vague. Help me be vague. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will help you so much, I don't have any freaking idea what you're even talking about anymore. Okay, well, I don't. Harold's in Nepal, so he can't catch me. <laughs> I don't think he's watching. Harold, are you watching yeah. in Nepal? I, I would be appalled if you're watching in Nepal. But, let's just say, uh, I'll put it this way. If you were wanting something on the Black Friday sale on GiantLoopMoto.com and you missed it, you might be really happy next week. Oh! Especially if you're looking for another armadillo bag. Oh, ink. Or literally anything else. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what is the, uh, the what, what's the water cell called again? Cactus Canteen. The can- when do they... They're still pre-order right pre-order, now? Pre-order, 30% yeah. off. Did you guys see the video where I ran it over with my 450L a bunch of times? Those things are stout. I even aired off it. And I was legitimately concerned. So, like, I'm not worried about the bag. Six inches of air. Hey, whatever. It's in my in my freaking yard. I'll take it. <laughs> um, I was legitimately concerned about... Not the bag. I knew the bag could take it. But there's a plastic valve. Because it has the same valve that's at the bottom of like your hydration pack that you plug the hose into. I love that feature. Yeah, it's smart. Well, I I attached a gravity filter. It's like an instant gravity filter. But um, I thought maybe that would get messed up with me hitting it with the bike or something. That's probably a weak point because it's just plastic. But no, I don't have a single leak. I used it when I camped up at the campsite. That's great. It's it's fantastic. I was it no shit like and I would be promoting it because I have to not here right now, but on at least on the Jelly channel. But that. It literally solves every problem I've had with carrying water on the motorcycle. It is the most well-designed product for what we do I've ever seen. It's it's got the uh, the daisy chain Molly strap style yeah, thing on the side. You can strap it anywhere. It's got a Just strap. Like bag. It's got straps so you can hang it up while you're filling it. It's mm-hmm. got the same size top as a Nalgene bottle. It's got a strap on the side for pouring and for carrying it. It's got all those the reflective. So if it's on top of your bag. Daisy chain loops. It's got the zippered pouch at the bottom with the spout that I plugged my freaking gravity filter into. Nice. It is just smart. They're sh- they're shipping. They're shipping in February. But you can save thirty percent if you order it now, and that's a hell of a deal. In fact, you have to get two to get free shipping. It's so cheap. You have to get one of each because you have to spend seventy five dollars to get free shipping. Uh huh. Yep. I'm I'm. I've really started to love the way that I carry water on my bike with the two 48-ounce Nalgens and the RTW paneers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but with with that new, with the water cell that's coming It'll out, fit perfectly in that front of the RTW. Really? Yes. Really? It's that small? I'll grab it. It's dirty. I gotta pee anyway. Talk to the people. You're gonna pee in the thing? Well, yeah, so it'll be full of liquid. Gross, you okay. Well, I won't be it opening that. It's, it's bloody because, you know, I, I don't know if you noticed, like, kick it down the hill and threw it against the tree. Uh-huh, I saw that. Did you guys see that video? That was, that really, I've been seeing some of the comments that that thing can take a beating. And like he just said, it does not leak. Yeah, so. in my head, it's way bigger. This is the one gallon. It looks so much bigger on right. video. Right, no, it's, t- it's, it's barely bigger than an algae bottle. Yeah, so look, for scale, act, well, yeah, here, for scale. 
Beards Beard, for scale. Beards for scale. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is muddy. Um, this would, so if any, any of you that use the RTW panniers, this would fit right in that front pocket on either bike. That's where I currently keep a 48-ounce uh, Nalgen bottle either side for my cooking water. This thing would fit, boom, right there. That is a good idea. So, I mean, it weighs, I mean, it's a gallon of water, right? It's, it's going to, it's going to weigh, it's what? Eight pounds. A gallon of water weighs eight pounds. Right, yeah. So, eight pounds plus whatever the negligible amount of weight is for like the bag itself. Pounds. Yeah. It's, um, it's a good option, man. This thing is, this is stout. I dig this thing. Actually, quite a bit. I'm going to ask, so here's the two. I'm getting your couch all dirty with your yeah. weirdly muddy. Right, well, I kicked it down a hill again. Bang. Here's the two, because I know someone's going to ask. Right. Um, so there you go. This one is the one I actually ran over. <laughs> it's in perfect sense. So they send me a valuable, there's, literally one-of-a-kind prototype, there's and the, the first thing I do is run it over with a motorcycle. So here's the spout that he was referring to in the zip-off pouch. Right there. Can you see it? Kind of hard to see in the light. There it is. Now you can see it. And this, like the, uh, like he said in the video, did you guys watch the video? I did. If Did you? Yeah. If you didn't watch the video, shame on you. Go watch the video. you got to subscribe to the Giant Loop channel. Yes, go subscribe to the Giant Loop channel. Do you want a beer? Uh, no, I'm still sipping tea on mine. You don't want this one that's man boob flavored? Man boob flavored? Yeah, oh, that's oh. where it is. Oh. Okay. But yeah, water cell, freaking awesome. And look at that. They even, look at this. Here's an Easter egg. Ooh, I don't okay. know if that's just the known. Mm. Notice it, but don't point it out. Like I just you just did. put the dirty thing back on my couch after you said how dirty it was. Well, it's, I mean, there's still dirt on the couch. Anyway. I'm just saying, that's a sleek looking logo. There's chewy hair all over the couch, too. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> yeah. I miss the orange. I, they, apparently they get no end of complaints about the orange logo. Why? I don't want orange on my bike. Oh my god. Yeah, people are so <laughs> vain. We yeah, I'm, people. You guys shouldn't hate on the beavers just because they suck. I'm you sorry. Know, who, who won the Civil War? Who, <laughs> what were you saying? Who cares? What if were you orange saying? On the bag. What were you saying? It's more the KTM Association in these these circles. Right. To be fair, though, it doesn't matter how either team is doing in their season. The Civil War is always just right. a brawl. Exactly. Every single year. Yep. I'm actually I'm I'm excited the Beavers won this year. Yeah. Well. If anybody tries to repeat that, it'll proof on video, but I'll deny it anyway. Duck fan, right here. This isn't duck fan. This is a duck fan. I am it's a, not the duck fan. I'm a duck fan, not the diversity. So, you can guess which one I, I uh, root for. Uh, my sister Sarah also graduated from there. My wife graduated from there. That's where oh, I met her. Nice. Yeah. You met my sister at LSU. Yeah, I married your sister. Didn't you know we're brothers? Oh. Oh. Well, sorry, everybody. That was your niece that just left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is she driving yet? I mean, with her permit, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but, uh, you know. My mom's in here. What up? What's up, Mom? You I like, know. You like the beavers? What? Man. And to think I spent Thanksgiving with you. Go beeves. Go beeves. If only they could have won before Thanksgiving and I could have rubbed it in my brother's face. <laughs> Because he's a super hardcore Duck fan, although he doesn't like when I point out that he actually went to OSU for a semester and never went to U of O. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? <clears throat> Dewey, yeah, you know. It, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I got to get crazy, crazy, or crazy neighbor. Nope, I'm not Steve Wallace. I gotta get neighbor Daryl over here. He was gonna be on the stream, and then the, he ended up actually, I think, going to a Beaver game, oh. which is why he missed it oh. uh, one time, the time he was supposed to be on it. So, and the gig, the, the gag was gonna be he like bang on the window. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and then I just let him in. <laughs> Garrick, I, I I don't think either one of us has ridden the Desert X yet. I will be soon, though. I would love to ride a Desert X, though. It's a, so, that, I mean, kind of... 
depending on how it rode, that one could possibly replace the twin. Cost too much. Mm -hmm. So Vinesh got one to make parts for it, so he's going to let me borrow it for a weekend. Mm. He actually is? He has one. It's literally in his garage. No, I know that. Yeah, yeah, he's going to let me borrow it, yeah. I mean, he was like, he's like... He's not watching, so I can shit talk him. He was like, I mean, you know, and maybe you could do something for me, like promote my book. And I was like, you mean like loan you my Tenere for three weeks so you can make parts for it for free? You mean like that? But obviously, yes, I'm going to give you a shout out, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. So I'm excited to ride it. Although it's got those damn scorpions. Like Pirelli's just making deals with everybody. Right. I mean, they're okay. Yeah. It's, it's a good middle of the road tire. Yeah, uh, they're fine. They're just not what I want for what I do. Right. But for what most people do on adventure bikes, they're perfect. Yes. Starbucks runs, yes. Well, or even just 50-50, gravel roads and highway. Right. It's great for that. They're great tires for that. I just, it's muddy here all the time when I go places where there's mud. And I, mm -hmm. When I go through a mud hole, I don't know how deep it is. I want to know I have traction at the bottom. Right. So, yeah. So, you so get I don't, back out. Right. So I'm not just in it forever. Yeah. Especially on my $300,000 Ducati. Right. That Fortnite video was hilarious because he pointed out it basically doesn't have a rear f at all. It's just bare frame because they want you to buy the extended tank. Yeah. And there's literally a zip tie, like, holding it on, which right. is not Ducati. It's probably a $1,000 zip tie if you replace it. Official Ducati. It's gold-plated. <laughs> From Italy. Right, yeah. Yeah, Versace himself kissed it. Actually, no. It'd have to be his... It was Enzo Ferrari. Yeah. His great-grandson. And they're supposed to be, I mean, the the most telling thing in that Fortnite video for me was, like, he had the graph, right, of, like, road to street capability, and, like, there's a pretty much a straight line down, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, the curve, and all the bikes. I actually paused it, because I was stoked to see kind of where he put all the bikes, and the Nord was not where I was expecting it compared to the 890R, but, um, but then the Ducati is, like, the only one that's really good at both. Like, it's not better than any individual bike on the list, or than, it's not the best, but it... If you were adding all the stats, right, if you rated everything yep. out of 10, it would have the highest total number, right. which is something. But it's also interesting that you're not even supposed to check your brake fluid because the dealership's supposed to do it. You can't adjust your chain tension. The without dealership's a, supposed to do it. warranty? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, uh, that wouldn't work out for me because I do the DIY stuff. Save yourself a hundred and twenty-five to one hundred and sixty dollars an hour in labor. Yeah, just do it yourself. Well, at least you're in Portland, so you can get to motocross. So, like, yeah. I'm not gonna trailer it up there all the time. <sighs> yeah, he had the Turig and the 890R way over to the right on the durability, um, which surprised me. They were so much farther over than, and the Turig is fun. I was just gonna say you were impressed with the Turig. I was. I just have also heard a lot of things about. Well, really? one, there's no dealerships, right? The, the fact, right, my closest dealership is five hours away. Yeah. That's too far. Right. It's too far. If they gave me one, I'd ride it, but I'm not going to buy one. Yeah. Should we give something else away? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Shit, I should grab that chair, but I didn't, so I'm not going to. Um, so we're going to give away a Motocamp Nerd. This is USA only because his suppliers will only let him ship to the U.S. This is not on him. It's on them. But a Big Agnes. This is a sweet... My new favorite camping chair. Replace my Rocky Mountain chair because... And as much as I love that chair and think it's a great value for the money, it has a plastic... Um, I don't know what the hell you, The little joint where all the things go into is plastic. Like oh. the octopus. Mm. So it eventually broke because I'm a fat ass. But this Micah Basin chair is rated up to, I think, 350. Mm. And uh, it is full aluminum and the aluminum goes through aluminum. So you'd have to work pretty hard to break it. Is that so, the one you had it all see? Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's blue. Mine's blue. So in, in a, uh, mm, words, a Big Agnes Micah Basin camp chair. Look what Dewey said. I heard that was coming. It's still too far away. This is a motor course of problem. Yeah. Again, if they were like, do you want to ride in Aprilia for a while? I'd be like, yeah, I do. But am I going to spend money on it? No, because my audience is not that interested in it. Look at the look at the views on the Tenere videos versus the Norden videos. I built an audience on entry-level Japanese motorcycles. Shocker. That my European fifteen thousand dollar bike doesn't do as well. Right. Weird. Anyway, we're giving away a Micah Basin camp chair, but you have to be in the USA to win. So if you want it, you got to type exclamation point enter as soon as I figure out how to start the giveaway. All right, Robert, where is the where is the dealer? We've only heard that Aprilia was coming to Portland, not that it's confirmed. Yeah, isn't some is it's it, a, it's an existing dealer is adding Aprilia? Isn't it like Cascade? Is it Cascade? It might Shit, be. Shit, I know those guys. 
It might be. That'd I'd be I'd, good. I think I heard that. That might be way wrong, so... Yeah, I don't... Th- bringing back the 790 makes no sense to me when you have the 890. Unless it's going to be way cheaper. Because they were the same damn price. So if the, if for, if somehow the 790 is $12,000, right. then maybe. It'd be... That'd be the same thing as if they... they still do the 1090? No. Mm-mm. No, 1090 and the 990 are both gone. But if they brought, brought them both back at the same time, right. that's the same bike. With the 890. Right. For some reason. Yeah. I mean, good for them, I guess, but I don't. I, I don't understand the point. Sharp it's, so it's his grandkid came up with it. Yeah, that's the guy that bought my KLR. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I keep telling him that his grandkid needs to start a YouTube channel because he's like super articulate. It was like explaining like complicated concepts because he like races. He's a drag racer. Mm. He's like and he's like eight or ten or something. And he's like is anyway. So the, you know, I adjusted the valve compression. And I'm like. Bro, you need a YouTube channel where you explain things. Cause like right Jesus, now. Jesus, yeah. Getting in, that, getting in on it when he's eight? Mm-hmm. We'll just have to have somebody else deal with the um, AdSense and all that stuff. Off seventh, play. he says. Off seventh. Huh. That's not Cascade. It's not a... It can't... There's no way it could be a standalone dealer. No, it's no got to be something... You're right. No one just sells Aprilia, right? No. Seventh, wonder who that is. Hey, hey thanks, Jay. I cheers, Jay. cheers. Like a hurricane. Earth. Did you just fart and wake yourself up? No, but someone's outside. Is it Tim? Did he actually crash? That would be fucking hilarious. I have no idea. Oh, someone just bought some Bigfoot Bushcraft. Maybe Did I mention... Maybe it's Daryl. ...that everything we're giving away tonight is linked in the description. Boom. Damn, Unknown Soldier already emailed me. Good on you. That is an Amazon truck. Look, you can see the reflection on the logo. Yeah. <laughs> Grace, I don't think it's Moto Corsa that's taking over Aprilia. They're, they're releasing their own ADV. That would be a direct competition. Optimum Performance? Is that on 7th? Never heard of it. Probably a tiny dealership, like Bob's. Bob's Bills. Oh, Goozy. Goozy, okay. okay. That, that makes sense. Uh, now, that sounds like what I heard before yeah. now that you say it. That makes sense. Yeah. So, you know, super niche. Yeah. Well, Goozy is it's the same company. They're owned by the same parent company. Right. Uh, because we they had the V85s and the Turegs at the same place at the Get On ADV Fest. Not quite as expensive, but almost more niche than Ducati. The Guzzi? Guzzi or Aprilia? Or Aprilia. Yeah. They're very, yeah. very focused on one little segment of right. people. Well, but ev- the, everyone's getting to the adventure game because it's the only segment that's growing. Motorcycling, in general, mm-hmm. is shrinking. Almost like the people who are coming to adulthood now don't have disposable income. Weird. Yeah, wow. I wonder why that is. That's a shocker. Yeah. So only old people have it, and then they die, and they all ride Harleys anyway. Yeah, Piaggio, that's the one. North of Lloyd Center. Oh, they so, did have a tour egg there. Is it a service center also, or just a sales place? Good point. Good That's question. A very. I'm gonna get the chair. I feel bad not showing it. He's That's, gonna go get the chair. This is why he gives me these things to promote, so that I can show them to people. Right. It's literally right here. Oh, so you had to walk walk a long ways, also. It's pretty far. It's almost all the way to the bathroom. Wow. I know. Yeah. So what matters most for you motorcycle campers is uh, is the size when it's packed up, right? You size know what a freaking chair looks like, but this is it. Bagat sized, like a short bagat though, like a like a <laughs> like a bagat chode. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the size of it. So uh, it fits it fits in the pan here very comfortably, and it's all aluminum. You can hear it. There you go. That's the Micah Basin. That's what we're giving away right now. Motocapnerd.com, link in description. That's actually a very high quality bag that comes with it too. I know. Well, it's, it's light too. The, Pick it's it up. not just a thin tent material. It's an actual it's it's like huh. That's it's great to hear, Kirk. Thank parachute you. Parachute pant material. Yeah. No, it's uh it's it's abrasive it's uh abrasive. abrasion resistant. You're mm-hmm. abrasive. It's abrasion resistant. Yeah. 
Are all the bags that color? You mean for the mica basin? They actually don't even sell this color anymore. I think he only has gray and one other color. It's the blue one you can't even get. Rockstar. Baguette chode. Yeah, that's. I think you should put that in the description on the website. <laughs> chode length baguette. <laughs> if you know, you know. Like when I did my review for the uh, the hand wipes. <laughs> did you ever see my review for the hand wipes? On I, don't, I don't know. What did you say? He, he posted it. Oh, he did? Yeah. Mm. It's on there. Okay. I can't wait. Who wants to know who won? Does anyone want to know who won? Okay. I, I would like to know who won. You'd like to know? Was it me? No, you can't win. Oh, that's stupid. It would seem like cheating. And the winner is... Someone I pick when I click the button. Ethan Mulder. Trust no one, Mr. Mulder. Except for me. When you email me at dorkadorkontheroad.com, I need your physical address or your mailing address where this should be sent, assuming you have an address inside the, inside? Inside the United States of America to which it can be sent. Congratulations on your win. You're a beautiful person. Yeah. Coco's Cabana, I have a, well, there's an Amazon link in the description of every video. And if you Actually, if you search for Dork in the Road Amazon, it'll come up. I do have a small Amazon store, but I haven't added anything to it in a while. I should open an actual Amazon store page. I still only use the links. Yeah, well, most people, I don't really get a lot of clicks on the page. The shit that I sell, though, do you know how many pairs of these slippers I sold? Really? Like... I put it in that video, and, and the only comments I saw were people giving me shit about slippers. But then I went on my Amazon Associates, and I think I sold like 15 pair. Really? Yeah, because they're they're comfortable, durable, and easy to pack in your bag. It's so nice to be able to take your freaking boots off. And they have actual treads and Yeah, they have sole rubber on. soles. Yeah, right. Right. Well, and I beat the shit out of these. Look, like they're all ripped up because I wear them 24 hours a day. Out, unless I leave the house. I have Even working in the garage, I have them on. Uh -huh. Like, they're awesome. That's Great. awesome, Robert. Christmas is coming up. It's a gift idea for a motor yeah. camper in well, your life. And right they're there. on clearance. So they're su I paid like 100 bucks for the first pair. I think they're on clearance for like 40 or 50 right now because apparently there's new ones coming out with a little bit better tread. It's okay, so I might have to get on there and get it. I would get them now. I have another pair of no shit. I haven't even taken out of the box yet. I ordered for when these wear out because I like them that much. You got a spammer? Who's spamming? Take the tortoise. Stop, stop spamming. Oh, I get it. It's fine. Usually the uh, the bot takes care of that shit. Whoa. Do you want to give anything away? Did we cover that? Do you, are you going to give away shirts or no? Let's give away a shirt. Do you want to or not? Yep, let's give away a shirt. and. Uh, oh, that looks up. so cool. That was pretty awesome. Look, this is the slipper. Beat your shit. Sorry, continue. Someone said show the slippers. Here they are. Let's uh, give away a um, couple logo stick, uh, sticker pack and a shirt. All at once. Explore Adventure Moto. Okay. Are you guys ready? Can you get it from out of the United States? Can you on Sea Spring? I don't know. You can. I do it all the time. There you go. You can get it from out of the United States. Shipping costs more than the shirt, but it's worth it. Yeah. So, because you can order it cost, because you don't get a profit on stuff you order yourself. Right. So you can get it a little cheaper to send it. So I think I pay $16 a shirt and then like $4 shipping to send to people. So there you go. Yeah. Shirt time. Uh, casual pants instead of Levi's to pack. Shants. Zip off pants with the cargo pants with the zip off legs. I love those things. So you get pants and shorts all right. in one. And they're small because they're khaki. Okay, we're going to give away a Travis uh, merch pack. So it's just going to say awesome giveaway. This is for an Explore Adventure Moto shirt and sticker pack. Everyone's already entering. Now you can enter, guys. Now you can enter, y'all. Sorry, I didn't. Mean to put you on the spot and make you feel obligated to give something away? No, you no, had just mentioned it, and I didn't want to not give you the opportunity. I'm so used to talking to myself the whole time, I don't like giving anyone else a chance to get in edgewise. Really? <laughs> You've live streamed before. You know when you fill two hours of dead air, I know, you I just know. have to talk constantly. My, my stuff is dead air all the time anyway, because I'm either dicking around, dinking around my phone, sorry, typo. Um, mental typo, right? Sort of a mental typo. Thinking around on my phone or freaking coming up with questions to ask. Yeah, I'm usually dicking around on my phone. I said it was pretty funny. There was a comment on Critter's post about the stream. Some guy was like, "You ever watch one of those? He gets really lit sometimes." <laughs> well, of course. I try not to. I literally try not to. But at the same time, it's like talking for two hours and. 
It helps to drink. That's all I'm saying. To, talking to a camera is difficult. It's, it's hard, especially in a live. Yeah, you get, and there's not like there's real time feedback. It's right. like thirty second delay, and you can't edit when you screw up. No, which is a real thing for me. Which is why I encourage everyone else to drink so they'll forget. That's what I call mental editing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I should have worn my poor Christmas shirt under this so I could do what you did and still have a Christmas shirt on. There you go. It was warm, man. <laughs> it's warm down here. Mm-hmm. Getting lit, real rifle moto. Get it, get it. I'm getting it. That's why I want him to stay here. No, get lit. What? Oh. What'd I say? Ken, Brad says it's Ken's fault tonight. Yeah, it's Ken's fault. It is. That's He right? gave me yeah. the equivalent of three Coors Lights and one beer. And you're having a fourth right there. I had a whiskey cola before we started. Mm. Thanks, Dewey. I'm definitely more entertaining when you're drinking. Just like I used to tell women, I'm a lot more attractive when you're drinking. <laughs> and funnier. <laughs> All of which is helpful to me. <laughs> Can make a four look like a seven. And that's all I need above average. I've been married for, for a couple years. Yeah. Not a couple years. Right. A couple hours. Well, like earlier, I, the stream was all effed up. And, uh, and so there was only 20 seconds of video. And Tall Man was like, oh, it's okay. I got 21 seconds of gold. And I said, now you know how my wife feels. And there it is, a live forever on YouTube. But um, I actually got the bot to do the random shout outs too, because I nice. there's a button you have to click to turn it back on, and that's, I managed to do that today. That's something I haven't been able to fix yet. I'm I'm just glad I was able to get the thing working at all. I'm shocked there's no cats down here, D. Um, Amazon affiliate link for my slippers. Easiest way to find it is to go to my favorite moto camping gear of 2022. Video because it's literally in a pinned comment, um, but otherwise just go search for the Merrill, they're the Hut Mocks Merrill Hut Mock slippers. I don't get credit, but I don't. You know, it's nice to get credit, but I just want you to get nice slippers. So if it's too much work to go click on the link, that's fine. I get it. I'm trying to find it, it's the, they're the Merrill Hut Mock slippers. No, I don't smoke cigars in the house. This is brand new carpet. I don't need it to smell like ass. For a few years, anyway. That comes later. Yeah, when my dog is done. Right. He's still, look at him. Yep. What did you drug him or something? No. Oh. He's very comfortable with you. He is. He's passed the f out. All right, let's see who's winning this uh, this this beard's oh, this prize pack. Really have to pay attention to. Hyper spaz. Congratulations. Hyper spaz. That is a very appropriate name to win a trav contest. You've won a Explorer Mentor Moto shirt, which doesn't exist yet. And stickers. If okay, I'm I'm typing my email address into the chat right now. Yeah, I, and his is not as easy as mine. It's ADV Camper thirty eight twelve. That's not it. Forty nine. That's actually completely wrong. Sixty nine four twenty. No, that's that's not right either. No, okay. You know what comes after sixty nine? Seventy. Mouthwash. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That just happened. Mm -hmm. It's your stream, not mine. Okay. Mm. Thanks, Neck Dual Sport. Go subscribe to Trav. He's a person. 457. I was so close. Yeah. So Hyperspaz, email me at that email and tell me who you are, what you won, what size of shirt that you need, and more importantly, your address so I know where to send it to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please and thank you. Thanks, Ken. Enjoy. Did you guys, though, seriously, okay, I, moment of like chill, serious reflection, okay? We're gonna we're gonna get serious for a minute. Did you see how cool it was when I kicked my slipper off and caught it to show it to you guys? That was freaking cool. It was almost as cool as when you flipped your freaking e bike over backwards. <laughs> Dude, I didn't tell you. I got another one, and another one's coming tomorrow. So oh I have two God. new ones. But I got another one, and I was riding it around the yard, and I hit a wet log that I didn't see under a bunch of leaves, and ate shit again. Oh, I am two for God. two. Crashing on e-bikes. I have crashed e-bikes more times this year than I've crashed motorcycles. <laughs> I think. Not this year, but in the last couple months for sure. I have definitely crashed e-bikes more like an idiot. I didn't see that log at all. And I was dicking around because it's full suspension, so I'm like bunny hopping it and doing wheelies and stuff. Because it's actually pretty responsive on the front. Yeah. And I just was standing up, screwing around, and I went, whoop! <laughs> and I just went, ah, sideways. <laughs> Uh, Oregon Motorcycle seems to be having a good time with his. 
It's almost the only content he's doing anymore. Ebank, really? There's Tre- There's Tim. Tim, we literally thought you were going to come crash the party, and now we're sad you didn't. Yeah, I thought for sure that you were come. You, you were going to come crash the party. I, I have a certain article of clothing that I brought just for you, too. Yeah, I have one I didn't bring just for you. What? Okay. Uh, Tim, January, are you in or no? Are you going to be on the stream in January? Who wants Tim to be on the stream in January? Thumbs up in the chat and hit the like button if you want Tim to be... Or put beers in the chat. Because when Tim gets hammered, we have in unbelievable conversations. I don't want to spoil anything, but one of them involved personally owning a howitzer cannon. We were pretty drunk. We drank, I took that bottle of bourbon you bought me, or brought me at my party, uh-huh. up there. It's still up there. But we drank a bunch of beer, and then got into the bourbon, and we woke up in the morning, and there was this much left. Oh! <laughs> so, that's a hardcore... No wonder why I was getting text messages from both of you. Yeah, we had a night. We had a night. <laughs> I was getting text messages from both of them separately about each other. <laughs> <laughs> It was hilarious. Look at all the beers and thumbs up. Everyone wants Tim to be here. Yep. You have to sit by me on the casting couch, Tim. I don't. Did he leave? He said just popping in to say hi. Did he miss all of that? Probably. F that guy. Well, he he said he only had six percent battery. Well, that is called charging your phone. Right. I, I feel like that's a a, a personal failure on his part. I know. My kids always like I gotta charge oh. my phone. I'm like, why don't you charge it at night when you're sleeping? Oh, uh, there he is, TB. Yeah. Yeah. Tim's showing up. But who's the bad influence? Is it Ben or Tim? Good question. I drink more with him than I do with anyone else. I feel like I'm the bad influence, but he's like an amplifier. He's one of those shit people that like instigates shit. Like tries to get you to do shit so he can be entertained. So do you have to plug your cord into Tim well, since he's the amplifier? Well, I mean, if it gets cold enough. Bunch of bag guts. <laughs> those aren't chode baguettes, those are full size baguettes. Yeah. He's on the way. I only got six percent, but I'm gonna be there. Yeah. Yeah, use your phone while it's charging. What a shocker. That guy showed up here, no shit, and spent eight hours doing work on my campsite and like I kept trying to get him to stop and he was like, What else can we do? What else can we do? I was like, dude, we have accomplished everything today that I was trying to accomplish all winter. So I literally don't know what else we can do. And then he starts like processing firewood. I'm like, okay, we need to go have a beer, dude. Like, come on, get out, get out of here. It's looking good though, dude. I had so many. Okay. This is a great extra conversation for us to have, especially with you here as a person to confirm that I'm not insane. Okay. But like, also you guys and your thoughts because probably an equal amount of people. Some people don't know shit about bushcraft, and that's fine. Some people really get it, and they're like, oh, that's cool. But a, a certain contingent of people have been like, why are you building a homeless shelter? on your property and like one guy literally said he wasn't going to watch my stuff anymore because I built a Burnside homeless camp on my property and I'm just like do you camp or do you not like it's I didn't invent bushcraft or lean tos no, it comes I from, didn't invent tarp shelters it comes from generation x latchkey kids such as ourselves playing out in the woods when we were kids right. and building forts it's in the woods it's a fort but it, but this one's waterproof just okay Forget that it looks like a homeless camp, and think about it this way. How cool would it be if you had a place nearby that you could camp in the rain, and all you had to take was a sleeping pad, a pillow, and a sleeping bag? You don't even need to take a bike. You can walk to it. No, I don't need a tent. I, it's, I slept in it the other night. Like, it is so nice to not have to... And my tent isn't soaking wet. My stuff isn't soaking wet. People mm-hmm. just don't get it. And that's fine, Like because everyone camps their own way. But there are some people that are literally like, why did you build that that literally homeless shelter over and over and over again homeless shelter and it's like do homeless people cut down trees and make freaking like make poles and ridge poles and like exactly. build shelters out of out of uh it's all it's literally it's it's paracord logs i cut down on my own property you even had the reflection backstop for your fire too i saw well that that's actually that's not a it's um that's the back wall of the shelter i'm gonna oh. build one out of pavers when i get them up there oh okay yeah all right. But it's so not like, and when it snows, or like if it's pouring down rain, I can go camp up there. You could without build getting soaked. A rudimentary log cabin up there. I could. I like a log tiny. I would build it paddock style, but I don't want to cut down that many trees. Well, how close your neighbor? Well, not that close, but I have to get them off the hillside and bring them down. Oh. Yeah, the free range thing. I like that. 
Yeah, all of us Gen Xers that... Dude, Tim, Swedish fish, rock. That he, was great. He cooks them on the fire. Yep. Grilled ten, ten, Swedish cook fish. Again. Delicious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I have a place to test camping gear all year round. Like, if I just want to test the camping grill, sure is nice to not have to pack up the whole motorcycle and ride out an hour into the woods. But instead, go up there and just use the damn thing. So there's... I actually camped up there and I filmed the video. That's coming soon, but... Um, it was fun. I, and I've never, honestly... I've slept under the stars maybe two or three times, but I've never slept in an open shelter like that. So it was a first for me. It's a different experience. It really is. But I was surprisingly comfortable. Yep. Well, when does the bourbon come out? Ooh, on the after party, because I'm trying not to drop F-bombs on the regular stream. Right. It does happen. Speaking of which, we probably give away something else. Something else. Um, Let's do something else. Okay. This is kind of a big one, but we're going in order, so we're going to do it. Uh, there's a link in the description, and you should check it out. Because the the mica based No, that's lies. The Big Agnes, and we both sleep with Big Agnes often. She's very comfortable. She is. Very welcoming. She envelops you and keeps you warm and dry. Um, the, the Tiger Wall UL2... No, Fly Creek. I have the Tiger Wall. The Fly Creek UL2 tent. Great bikepacking tent. It's actually smaller than the one that I have, and smaller than yours, too. It packs very small. I am um, but the key is the short pole sections. They fit in a in a pannier really well. You're gonna get a different tent. I am. What are you getting? I'm tired of the fly. You're gonna get the copper spur. That's the one I wish I had. Possibly. Yes. It's cheaper too. I'm, I'm just tired of the fly because yeah, the fly. We almost never use it. You convinced me not to get that one, so I appreciate that. Um, but anyway, welcome. Click out. Click on the link. Check out the link to the Fly Creek UL2. It is a super compact, perfect for motorcycle camping, great tent, and we're gonna give that bad boy away. You have to be in the USA. Um, and also, you know, guys, if you get the chance, the opportunity to go on Moto Camp Nerd's Instagram or his YouTube channel and just thank him, because this is a, it's a, it's a four or $500 tent. Like, it's a very nice prize he's giving. And he's like, sure, put on the live stream, whatever. Like, the guy is super supportive of the community. And, he's, and again, it's one dude working a full-time job at a freaking bus manufacturing company all day. And then he comes home and goes to his store because he had to get open a physical store to, to get certain, like Big Agnes is one. He couldn't get without a physical store. So then he'll work three or four hours in his store. He works all of his weekends in his store and he packs and ships all this stuff to you because his dream is to make his living selling moto camping gear. And work for himself. Yeah. And so, but this guy, and his name is Ben. So I have a, obviously a soft spot on my heart for him. But um, things, so. he, des he deserves our support. So if you get a chance to support him, his prices are good. They're reasonable. He's running great sales, free shipping till the end of the year. Um, check him out, and you know that is that is a commercial to thank him for the tent, but also like legitimately as a human being, as a person who does this thing, as a person who is now self-employed mm -hmm. and working and living my dream as a result of all of you supporting me. I just want other people to be able to do that, and Ben is a great example of it. So support the guy, man. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and you get nerds. So anyway. You're all exclamation point entering. Chill. It hasn't um, even started yet. Yeah, I know. So we're going to give away a very nice moto camping tent. And you have moto camp nerd to thank. Exclamation point enter. Thank when I start camp the nerd. giveaway. Thank you, moto camp nerd. Hey, there's a cat. Also an affiliate now, by the way. Yeah, you can click on Trav's links, but then I don't get paid, so don't. <laughs> nice, Polly. Play yeah, Lando. Cool, Polly. Do not know why this furnace is running constantly. It's almost like it's 32 degrees outside or something. Ben is awesome, and also Moto Camp, right? We should figure out a way to meet halfway and have a camp out with Ben. Well, right. he was in Arizona for Overland last this year, right. so at some rally yeah. Halfway away. Aside from Montana next, next year, I want to do a multi-state trip anyway. So. Well, I, I did look it up one time, and it's literally, I can't remember, like four days of driving to get to where he is in South Carolina, or North Carolina. It's North Carolina. It's like he couldn't be farther away unless he was in the tip of Florida from where we live <laughs> in the right. United States. Yeah. So as much as I would love to go there and meet the guy, I think, yeah, I would like to meet halfway somewhere. Well, he's got a GS now, so he can actually ride out and meet us. We could do the Arizona BDR or something. 
Or Colorado. Really want to do Colorado. Missed out on that this year. I I want to do I want to do Idaho before I do another one. I think. And I do sort of I sort of kind of have the opportunity to do that next year. To do Idaho? I want to do Idaho. All at once. Well, that's hard because we're going to be gone for ten days that's, on Oregon, that's and the then another two yeah. weeks is hard. Right. In the same summer. Giant Loop is sponsoring Critter Moto. What? He's literally an ambassador. He, he has a better discount code than I do. Dude, that's a lot. The tat is like a month, isn't it? It is. The whole thing. And then the, the parts of the tat that are in Oregon are jacked up. Yeah. A lot of closed roads and whatnot. Well, here's the thing, Grace. Yeah, everyone's always like, why don't you just ride full time? I have a family. That's <laughs> I drive my kid to school every day. That's why I don't just leave on month-long trips all the time. So it's really hard for me to be gone that long. My kid will be driving actually by this summer, so that might change the calculus. I mean, I miss them, but I won't need to drive her as much. We could um, we could do Idaho half and half. I would. That would be easier. Yeah. Although we could also just like, how fast can you do it if you like push hard, like eight nine hours a day? I would uh, I would ask uh, Kyle that question. Yeah, Kyle, how fast do you do it? I'll take that. Or add thirty percent. No, he's not. No, Juanitas are way better. Add thirty percent. That's a bit generous, don't you think? Yeah, Kyle. Okay, fifty percent. <laughs> yeah, right. Even Kyle stops sometimes when he crashes into a cement barrier and falls off a cliff. Don't be sorry, Grace. Why are you sorry? Don't ever be sorry. Be graceful. All right, let's just see who wins this tent because I want to know. Oh, so she says twenty twenty. Mob City. I know he's in the U.S. He's in Vegas. Uh, Mob City Moto, congrats on your win. I need you to email me, dork at dorkontheroad.com. I don't know why I said your name like that. That was horrifying noise. It sounded like an emu being molested by an ostrich. Whoa. But anyway. Um, that got weird. It did. You don't even want to know what my brain said that I caught myself before I said. Good Mob job. City Moto, congrats. Email me, dork at dorkontheroad.com. I need your address, and we'll have Moto Camp Nerd send that out to you, my man. My man. My man. Concrats. Says the rifle moto. Mm -hmm. He's like, don't notice it until it goes off. And suddenly it's like deadly silent in here. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the nice white noise. <laughs> yeah, the, it's like, I background. need to speak to the manager. Right. White noise. Right. This is too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pee. Do you have any cores light? All right, he's gone. Now, what are we actually going to talk about? You guys want to talk shit about Ben while he's gone? Right. Ken Pachi's in here. So, Graceful Renegade, you want to do the tap? In 2024, did I see that right? Almost said tomorrow. Next year is the uh, Oregon BDR, and um, I have a um, a trip planned to RMR in August, Rocky Mountain Roll in uh, Montana next year. I would like to attempt at least half of the Idaho BDR next year. So I should do the tap for my fiftieth. There you go. Which is really far away still. It. it. <laughs> 2029. It's so far away for me. It's in in the past. Right. We do it for your 60th. Do Two or three years. That, that <laughs> that's a long ways from now. <laughs> De sure Delta is. Bravo. I have uh, too many. I have four in the garage. So I have two Africa twins. I have the one that always shows up on video, and then I also have my brothers and Adventure Sport. Oh, okay. Cute. Um, I still have the DRZ. Cheers, bacon whiskey. Key. Cheers, bacon whiskey. Um, I still have the DRZ. I have my Sierra 450. Uh, got rid of the 230. I have, Did a, you? I have an that ST. That was the one I wanted. I have an ST90. Oh, I kicked you again. And I have a uh, Your 90 doesn't old run though, right? Iowa Honda Express. Did and you see they're bringing back the Moto Compo? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. I want to put knobbies on that. Anyway, continue. 
So the, for the bikes that run and that I use all the time, I have the regular Africa Twin, the Adventure Sports Africa Twin, and I have the Sierra 450. Nice, Dewey. I will definitely do that. Duck bird. It's a great sweater. You need a 450L. The sweater Although plays. Travis is an X. Mine is an X, yes. Watching twerking or something. You're just watching dudes with beards. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse. His DRZ is an E, so that's why you don't see it on the road much. Yeah. Yeah, my, mine's an E, and since Oregon changed the rules again back in 2016, it can no longer be plated. So, yay! And I already have two very capable plated bikes anyway. That's why I got the 450X, because I needed a dedicated trail bike. So. Well, that's why I got the 450L, because I needed a dedicated trail bike that I could ride on the road. Right, but I don't need to ride it on the road. And I could slay it off road. Love that bike. Yeah, but I'm going to ride mine... So on the Oregon BDR. Well, yeah. So you're going to need the gas bag, or the armadillo bag. Hopefully not, but I'll carry one if I have to. Uh, Lex de Fox. Technically, no. Unless you have one grandfathered in, which I guess I'm thinking of the there is actually XRs. You can get plated XRs because they were grandfathered in like in 92 or whatever. That's why I think the my E, my DRZ should have been grandfathered in, but it's not. Hmm, weird. Mm -hmm. Gave away my sweater? Damn it, Rick. I miss my DRZ. There I is do. salsa of a sort here. I don't miss riding. Like, I don't like go out there and go, I wish I could ride my DRZ today, but I miss having it. I like that bike a lot. Well, it's one of the bikes you own for the longest. Mm-hmm. You had a lot of crashing on that bike. Too. I did. <laughs> Although, nothing compares to the crashing I did on the 250L. Damn. Thanks, J.A., again. Thanks, J.A. Cheers. Okay, what chips are we... Are we talking about... Because Juanitas are way better than La, Cos La Cocina de Josefina. These are good. These like, aren't as greasy the, or oily. The grease is what makes it good. That's what I was just going to say. They yeah. don't have that greasy... Just made in a restaurant quality. The only thing better than Juanitas are my favorite Mexican restaurants chips. Those are amazing. Are you a, are you a Cocina de Josefina guy? What? <laughs> I don't even know what that word was. <laughs> like Cocina de Josefina. Oh, okay. It's it's the kitchen of Josephine. No, because this is just the bag that was closest to me when I was in the store. And yeah. I okay. No, normally I would get Juanitas. Yeah. One of these are the best. Especially the ones that have the like the chili lime mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah. Hard to find but so good. Yep. They crunch they crumble easier though. Yeah. How is the beer? It, I'm drunk, dude. Nine percent? Holy shit. How was yours? That's a lot of percents. Yeah, I know. So it you was have to share very good. I'm actually finally done with it. You have to share whatever he gives you with me since I didn't get to try both. Well, there's some backwash. No, it's good. And if I drink both of those, this would be a sleep stream. Sleep stream. Have you seen those? I keep, they keep popping up on TikTok where people will have watch me sleep streams, but like, what? you can pay money for an emote that makes a loud noise and wakes them up. Where's your beer at? In the fridge. I'm gonna have one. Please have one. Uh, Matthew, how did the trans out fall out of favor so fast? We saw the stats. I'll let you tongue punch my whiskey flask later. That's how I got COVID. No. Well, I don't have COVID. So. Because I just was really excited about it, and then I started looking at it, and I was like, damn it, Honda. I want a legit T7 competitor, and this isn't it. I am a little bit disappointed in that bike. I'm probably going to get one. Really? Because content? Content, yeah. Um because one of my adventure bikes is getting sold. I think it's more of a KLR Slayer than it is a T7 I, Slayer. I don't disagree with you. It'll be interesting to see what it does. Yeah. Um, that The way they routed the exhaust, I'm, I'm pretty darn uh, disappointed in. Yeah, it's not going to fit the type of riding that I like to do. But it is going to be of interest to my audience. So, we'll see. We'll see. We need a T7. The only one is the Tureg, and it's $2,000 more, and it's an Aprilia. They need a Japanese T7 competitor. Like, 
Yamaha freaking nailed it on so many levels. If it just had a decent display... And a better distribution... Yeah, and you could get one. Which you can't. Mm -mm. I mean, fun fact, the... The T7 came out just a couple of months after I bought my twin, the red, white, and blue one, Lana. Had it been out when I was shopping, I you would have seen a channel with all T7 content. That's that's a bike that I would have gone for. <clears throat> the Transo came out at 9000 I mean, it would still not be a great off-road bike, yeah, but it would be a good value. Right. I mean, it would be... A, and here's the thing. It's this a is large CB 500X. And th- 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 maybe you you can back me up on it. It's great that you're here because I say things like this and it sounds almost arrogant or whatever. But like, think about your average adventure bike rider. Okay, mm-hmm. the Trans Alp is probably a great bike for them. Your yeah. average guy who wants to get out and ride some gravel roads to get to a campground, get to a trailhead. I have got I have viewers like this that ask me questions all the time. So I always ask. What kind of riding you're going to do. There's a lot of people for whom a bike that's pretty capable on a gravel road and if you get into something kind of heinous can handle it, is is great. So if it's then more comfortable on the road because they're going to spend 50% or more of their time on the road, yep. it's a great bike for them. And that's that's awesome. I the agree. CB500X is a great bike for that. It really is. It doesn't need to be super off-road capable. And that's sort of what the Trans Alp looks like to me. Yep. But I've just gotten to the point where I want to ride harder things and ride harder and faster. And I'd rather have a more... I want a bike that's more capable than I am. Right. And that is the Tenere. I don't feel like the Trans Alp is. I feel like I would break it. Or that's hurt always, it. That's I wouldn't break it. That's always been the twin for me. Yeah. Right. It's, yeah. It is far more capable of a bike than I will ever be. Um, and it's... I, it's... I always want a bike that is more capable off-road and be able to live with it on-road. This is why I love my Tenere. That is the way I have set up my twin with mm-hmm. suspension and the and gearing. The gearing in particular, it. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's I, an easy mod. I will I will live with a lot of things on-road to make it better off-road. Yeah, Tim, that's why I started camping with you so much. Yep, same. Well, that's why in my review, when I talk about the Norden versus the Tenere, the Tenere is that bike. It's the bike that is not as comfortable on the road, but it gives you, it's purpose built for off road performance. Right. And the Norden, they took an 890 and made it a little bit more comfortable on the road. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the, the Trans Alp is not that much different from the 750X. The engine is. That, that right. 750X has half a Honda Civic engine in it. Mm-hmm. Super weird. Um, but yeah. Well, it's a, uh, I mean,. It's technically listed as an adventure bike, but it's not. It's a touring bike. Right. Well, I mean, Grace has got it. That, that Trans Alp is a, is a bigger, wire-wheeled CB500X. Yes, I agree. Yep. All day long. Haven't heard anything, Delta Bravo. I think we should give something else away, because... I actually looked for the Get On ADV Fest here um, just a couple days ago to see when it was to see if I could work it into my schedule for the year, and... I didn't see anything announced for it yet. The one in South Dakota or the one in no, Mojave? No, Mojave. That'll be in April if it happens again, but I don't know. All right. Should we give away a Dork on the Road t-shirt? Sure. I'm going to. Dork on the Road Okay, t-shirt. Dork on the Road t-shirt. So a t-shirt, a classic tee of your choice from my website. Or no, it's not my website. From my Teespring store. I don't own Teespring. If I did, I wouldn't have to make videos. Um... So, uh, and you do not have to be in the U.S. to win, because I'll ship it wherever. So, I'm happy to ship overseas. Okay, and the winner is whoever enters. Here we go. Awesome giveaway. This is for a Dork on the Road t-shirt. There's a get-off event in Las Vegas every day, man. It just costs money. (laughs) Win that shirt. Which shirt is it? Of their choice? Whichever one you pick, yeah. Tim, you don't have a dork shirt? That's sad, dude. You got a, but you got a pug fur onesie when you camped here. I mean, no one else has that. Truth. Authentic dork pug fur. This dog loves it up here, by the way. He does things that you would not expect. Like, he'll just go up in the woods and disappear for half an hour, which is not. Pugs were bred for thousands of years to sit on your lap and be comfortable. <laughs> and he's always been so prissy, he, I couldn't even take him camping. But man, he loves it here. Right. I meant to do this a little bit earlier. Yes. Oh, no, that's... I need video. There we go. Okay. Everybody on the live stream, you're seeing me film something that I'm going to post later on Instagram. Cool. But... Oh, he woke him up. <laughs> 
See? See the similarity? Like father, like son. <laughs> Burf. Yeah, Burf. exactly. Burf. Yeah, Tim deserves more than a dork shirt. I told Tim he has an open invitation to camp at my camp whenever he wants. Hey. No, there's no one outside, dude. Chill out. Just chill your pug bones, okay? Just chill them. Also worth mentioning, if you're not a channel member or a patron and you want to hang out on the after party, you're going to stay for the after party, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we always do about another hour of stream just for channel members and patrons. Um, and all you have to do to get into that is be a channel member or a patron. It's a dollar a month. And I'll post the links. I'll post a link in a channel members only post here on YouTube and on Patreon to the after party stream and we'll chill out. And what's nice about that is there's usually only 20 or 30 people. So it's easier to get your questions answered and have more of a conversation. Not that this isn't fun, but it's like I miss comments. You know, you guys send a lot of comments, so I don't see mm -hmm. them all. Yep. It's hard after, to keep up. After the after party stream is. <clears throat> Where things really get turned up. Turnt. Yeah, the other thing is I feel comfortable saying the F word because I literally unprivate un the live stream, the after party the next morning. Because <laughs> I'm usually like, what the hell did I say? Like that time I was going off on all the creative accounting that my accountant does. I was like, that probably shouldn't be on the internet. She's good. I right. like her. Yeah. Well, the weather won't be nice, Tim, but I mean, it'll be cold. But maybe right. dry. Yeah, it might be sunny, but it's going to be cold as balls. Yep. Yeah. Tim and I have... The nice thing about Tim is... And I think you're close to this, too, but we have the same cold weather threshold. It's like... Right. 35, I'm like, okay. 32, I'm like, maybe not. And below that, I'm, I'm just... If I have to, but... Because it, it's so it's so cold, it's hard to even stay warm by the fire. So, And it gets dark at 4.30. Yep. So I guess I can go sit in my sleeping bag at 6 o'clock at night. Right. But what's the point? Right. You know, that's Get kind cards. of the threshold. Get All right, cards. let's see who won. Winner of the t-shirt is 2UP, PNW, ADV. It's only one t-shirt. You guys are going to have to share, you 2UPers. Two two, yeah. uh, so you got to email me, dork at dorkontheroad.com. It would be easiest if you just went to the Teespring link in the description and picked out a shirt and told me what size and color you want. That would be ideal. People tend to forget that, though, so if you don't send me that information, I will just email you back and ask you for it. Um... Tim only likes it when it's dry. Yeah, sad, dude. Uh, uh, chafy. But uh, email me. Builds up heat, too. Address, shirt size, color, which design you want. Hey, it's the other dog. Come here, Trixie. What time is it? 7.40? Let's just draw the other winner. So I'm actually giving away two shirts. Here's the other winner. The other winner is Jeff Corselius. Congrats, buddy. You also won a t-shirt. You thought you won nothing, but there you go. T-shirt. Same deal. I need to know what size you are. I need to know what design you want. I need to know what color you want from the classic T colors. So there's different t-shirt options, so it's a cheap one. Sorry, but it's free, so deal with it. Um, email me at dork at dorkontheroad.com. Jeff, congrats on your win. The only thing left to give away is the Giant Loop one-gallon armadillo bag, cinch straps, and I got, uh, I got uh, Mike to throw in a t-shirt. Nice. Tim is Tim is quoting a very famous college humor sketch with Ellie Kemper. I'm gonna make it so dry for you. I'm gonna use a lot of teeth. So scratchy. Mid twenties. Good there. God. I don't. It's not even the cold that I hate as much as the dark. It's just. It gets. It literally got dark at four thirty the last time I went camping. So I was like trying to make dinner. I was like, I better start the fire so I can film this. At four o'clock. Well, Dewey, if you don't win one tonight, and you might, um, maybe check out Giant Loop's website next week. But make sure you use my affiliate link. It might be a sale. I don't know. Just use the link in the description of the video describing all the amazing things on sale. That was fun to edit. I like literally did like a rapid fire like this is on sale this is and I just put in a picture of each one it's like bam 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 so it's like a three minute video but it took me like four hours to edit because literally everything's on sale I mean maybe I don't know Harold's in Nepal so right hot tent moto camping that that would be a game changer but hot tent that's that's extra that's a lot of extra gear and yeah. space on the bike the stove yep. and then you got to process a lot of firewood yep which here it is so hard to find dry-ish Firewood, and you can't dry, find dry firewood. Yeah, it's rainforest. Right, but in the winter, it's like it, it, maybe you can find a dead standing tree and cut it down and split it all up. But 
That's basically what you're doing. Right. That's that's your camping trip. Right. To just to get through the night. Tim, if you get a hot tent, I will camp with you in it. Dork. Wait. Only, why? only dorks. Why is it hot? The fire pit place, right? Now, if you were going with a couple people and one carried the stove and one carried the tent, that would help. Yep. Eat beans. Yeah, I like the I like the hot tent stuff. Like my favorite, like Joe Robinette's like my favorite YouTuber, and I love his winter camping stuff, where he goes out in hot tents. And everything I know about bushcraft, I learned from him. He's got a good channel for it. Mm -hmm. He knows his stuff. He does. He does the thing. He's entertaining too. Yep. Picked up a Mojave bag. I love that Mojave bag. I, that's my favorite thing for day trips. I didn't get so much stuff in. Like I've got my whole tire changing kit in one side. Yeah, and all my survival gear in the other. Mm -hmm. And I carry a tarp and paracord, and I actually have a, a mylar sleeping bag, like a bivy sack in case you know I get stuck out there overnight because yep. I like to go up in the snow like a fucking idiot by myself. Right. Oh look, Tim said he'd process your wood. God damn it! This is getting bad. I well, I mean, yet. Tim is good at processing wood. We have video of that. Damn, dude. Got in on Bitcoin early and got out before it crashed. That's the freaking baller move of the century. Mm -hmm. Literally. That's smart, dude. Okay, I'm actually completing the giveaway this time. I wonder if Jeff left. He's like, I don't want anything, and bailed, and then didn't see that he won. <laughs> Do a video on boot dryers. I don't... You just hang it on the back of your bike. Over the end of the exhaust? Yeah. They're really dry it out quick? Yeah. Yeah, I just don't get my boots wet on the inside. That's my boot drying. If I had soggy boots, I'd probably just go home. Yeah, Dewey. Tim's very good with the wood. That guy is more determined to have a fire than anyone I've ever met. Like, times when I'm like... Like, literally twice I've seen it. That time we camped outside of... Uh, what city does Amy live in? Staten? Your last night on the on the Lobner. Uh, oh, sh Starts with a C. Right? Yeah, that place. Yeah, anyway, we are like, I don't know what a fire... And then you, like, randomly put some fire starters on a log. And the next thing I know, Tim's got a hatchet out, like, hacking logs to pieces. My hatchet, because he didn't bring one. He had a saw. I put the fire starters in a crack. As it like, a joke. And Tim's suddenly hacking up... So I just start, like, grabbing stuff and hauling it over to him, and he's, like, hacking it up. We had a fire, like, all night. Yeah. And Cashmere. Then, Cashmere, yeah, like the freaking Led Zeppelin song. Why can I never remember that? It's spelled differently, but still. That's where they make the candy applets and cutlets. Yeah, that was those were words. And then, uh, have you never heard of those? No, applets and cutlets. You've never heard of? No. Oh my god. And the other time was LC Falls when I saw him sawing away on that giant log with a tiny little saw <laughs> that he then threw in the fire and tried to get going. Yeah. He wants fire more than I do. Yep. I'm sometimes, like, I want fire, but I want to not deal with making one more. That does happen. Or worrying about the cleanup to make sure it's out before mm -hmm. you leave. Mm-hmm. I know, there's so many... So many towns on the Wabra that start with C. No, Garrick, it was uh, Kashmir. We yeah. were way south of Conconelli. Yeah. Conconelli, we, we didn't even stay one. in. We went through. We had lunch on the first day. Ish. They had gas. We got gas. Mm -hmm. That was right after the flood. Yeah, they were still doing the flood cleanup when we were there. Mm -hmm. And it was a hundred freaking degrees. Mm -hmm. it, was warm. it was hot. Yeah, that was... See? Delta Bravo knows what's up. Applet and cutlets. Applets and cutlets. You guys made that up. Nope. Delicious. That sounds like some Canadian shit. But anyway, they make them in cashmere. <laughs> okay. It's like a tiny little cot that you can't sleep on. Nope. And like a Java applet on your computer? No. No, not at all, actually. Tim. Close, though. Tim, you can have a, bat, a fire here. What you need is a Bigfoot Bushcraft fire pit. You can have one anywhere. I haven't done a fire in my backyard yet, either. What the hell? Year. I don't... People are entering nothing because there's no giveaway going on, but the, <laughs> ch the chats help, so I guess we'll okay. go to town. Joke's on you. I'm often the smoke magnet. I'm probably the smoke magnet the most. Favorite Wobder Town? That's a good one. It's not Lake Chelan, I'll tell you that. Uh-uh. 
That was warm. Warm and like impossible to find anything. Sh- Shalan is out. Mm-mm. I don't like resort towns. I like the the tiny little hole in the walls. What was the one that was like ten miles from where we camped the first night where we went into town to get groceries and then went back in the morning to have breakfast? With the with the feed the uh, the cattle auction place where we had breakfast. The Stockyard Cafe. Yes. That was Okanagan. That was maybe my favorite because yep. I enjoyed being able to get groceries and beer and Yep. That was a cool little town. Yeah. Uh, Nile was a cool little Nile was awesome, yeah. Cool little town. And the it was such as it is. It's like a little it's like a tiny packwood. It's like a bar, restaurant, yeah. and a store. Yep. With a gas station. Yeah, I was and that was the day Tim was like dying. He was ready to stop for the day. And I was like, let's just get some food. And I got like giant freaking potato skins and we managed to ride for like three more hours and camp at the most amazing spot on Bethel Ridge. Mm-hmm. So um, that was it was a lifesaver. Yeah, Niles definitely up there. Paul Beardsley, yes. I got my... Those are very opposite places, Conconoli and White Salmon. One is up north and one is all the way south. Conconoli is almost as far north as you can get. Right. Almost. 60, route-wise, 60 miles from the border. Because that section's only 60 miles long. Yeah, it's short. Sometime in the next 15 minutes, we're going to give away a giant Loop 1 gallon armadillo bag. So fuel helps. That's what you could put in it. Fuel does help. Oh, oh my God, Grace, you're a five dollar patron. Thanks, Grace. Grace is the best. I love my patrons. You got a bottle of Old Crow. I hope you're mixing it with something, dude, because that stuff is rough. <laughs> it's a good mixer. I mean, you spent what eleven dollars on that gallon of Old Crow. Um, I've had it. Many. It's what's always it. So my buddy's dad has a cabin in Tillamook, and every time we go there, there's a gallon of old crow in the cupboard Oof. and i'll like leave good bourbon because like we always try to give something back to the cabin you know so i've left half a bottle of 1792 or something good and every time we come back just old crow nothing else <laughs> so they're drinking <laughs> up all the good stuff and leaving a shit <laughs> your other dog likes me too yeah she likes people <coughs> oh no grace there's no need to support me financially you support me emotionally and that's all that matters. Nine ninety five. Yep, that's that is a that is a cheap evening of fun. If you can remember it, right? Well, you don't need to remember it. That's almost like HRD vodka or Rothschild Ooh, vodka style. HRD, there, that's yeah. where it's at. Yeah, that is. Oh, Tim is now a member. You were already a patron, though. I thought Tim. How were you not a member before? He's always like, he's always like, oh, when does that video come out? And I'm like, it's been out for a while for patrons aren't you a patron he's like yeah i don't ever look at that why are you paying for it dude Mm -hmm. (laughs) thanks i appreciate it sorry that seemed really freaking ungrateful i appreciate all your support patrons and channel members except him except him i don't appreciate anything from him except when he comes camping with me right (sighs) it'll get you home because you can pour it in the gas right so you're a gas tank. So you're a patron and a channel. Why, Tim? That's because I bought him a sixty dollar battery charger and he didn't bring it back to me like he was supposed to. He's trying to pay me back a couple dollars a month. <laughs> this is payment plan. <laughs> Jesse, welcome. Congrats. <sighs> yeah, we didn't. We saw there was a bar in Conconoli. Yep. There was a KLR in Conconoli. I was impressed by that. Got it on video. Mm-hmm. Look at these members. You guys are bomb. You guys are bomb. I mean, it's going to be a lit after party. To be fair, when we went through Conconoli, they were all very busy with the cleanup effort. Yeah. So yeah. we didn't see Conconoli like it would normally be seen. No. So. Patreon can see everything. I don't know why people are like that. Whoa. You've not urinated one time. I've urinated like 11 times. Camel. Camel ADB. Mm-hmm. That's right. Going to do a vid on setting up the manta... Or setting the manta ray free. Yeah, I need to retire the manta ray. I have a couple of them with incontinence problems, which is <laughs> why I'm pretty excited to switch you, to this. You don't want an incontinent manta ray. They're absolutely great for taking 
to your campsite empty, filling up and using at the campsite. They're not great for filling with water and then keeping on the back of your bike for five days. Because the friction, it's just a Mylar bag inside. They just wear holes in it. I have had two of them with micro leaks. And you definitely couldn't run one over. I thought about doing it as like a comparison, but I don't want to like make Moto Camp Nerd stuff look like shit. Well, it's not his stuff. Well, I mean, he sells it though. So who's right. ever going to buy one if I run it over and it goes... Yeah. But it is literally a freaking happy birthday balloon inside. There it is go. a Mylar balloon. That's true, Tim. I don't want my Japanese bikes to catch that KTM uh, issue that we had that, again, you got stranded. People always like to be like, ah, KTMs don't have that many problems. Question, Travis. And you've been riding your whole life. No shit. Most of it. Have you ever been stranded on the side of the road with a buddy who was on a Honda? No. Have you ever been stranded on the side of the road with a buddy who was on a Yamaha? No. Have you ever been stranded on the side of the road with a buddy who was on a KTM? Yes. Me too, and several times. Yep. I have been stranded on a Honda one time because the mechanic I took it to fucked it up, and I got out my Allen key, which was the only tool I had, fixed the problem, and got home. Yep. Yep. I'm not, I mean, and it's confirmation bias, it's personal, it's a small sample size, but like, people are always like, you can't hate on KTM. So I'm just talking about my own experience. In my experience, I've been with multiple friends, Tim being the latest, who were on KTMs. That failed them. That that broke down and we were stuck. I mean, yes, it was his lithium battery. Yes, it's an aftermarket part. All that. Yeah. But, and I've been with other people who would be mad if I shared who it was on their KTMs that we've been stranded before. And I like my Norton a lot. Tim, both can be true. Don't trust it. I'm just saying... I've never been stuck on the side of the road with a friend's broken down Honda. I mean, tire changes, but like that is not the machine's fault. So to be fair, one of the one of the times I was with a KTM and it broke down, it wasn't a mechanical; it was a tire issue. It's when well, Nathan picked up that nail while we were at oh the yeah yeah, but he fixed it like right there yeah yeah because he has tubeless that was easy he just he even filmed it. a video for it he did he didn't release it no and well they thought I was going to use some of it but I was like this video was already really long I cut out eight minutes <laughs> to put it back in for patrons anyway I up I uh, upstaged him with my accidentally drinking a 12 pack <laughs> plus the tall boys mm-hmm we're going to talk about the tall boys okay I'm going to pee I'll come back we'll give away the last thing Pee, come back, last thing. Got it. And then after party, where well, we're just going to party. There like it's 1989. Yep. So I'll be 10 years old. Nice job. Yeah. Underage drinking. Hey, I'll be a drunk 10-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> You're a 30. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I won't be responsible for that, by the way. Uh, Garrick, you dumped your Yamaha on the street last weekend. Ouch. Whoa. You're okay, though, right, Garrick? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm glad you're here in the chat. Getting getting cut off sucks on a good day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Grace. It's uh, he's he's already had more beer. I. I don't, I'm not really a beer drinker. <gasps> Shock, I know. Gasp, you say? Gasp, you should. I'm not really a beer drinker. Do you only drink drinker. with me? Am I the bad influence? No, I do. When, Is when, it me? Am I the drama? So when I do drink beer, I, I'm sipping tea, right? Because And the only reason why I don't drink beer that much is because it fills me up. So what you're saying is, it's me. Hi. No. I'm the problem. It's me. No. I oh. brought you chips, though. Okay, thanks. You haven't even opened the chips yet. I don't. I thought you, they were for you. It's because no, I brought I them live for. Here. I have food here. I brought them for everybody. Oh well, this is this milk is for everybody. I even brought the the cheese dip. I thought you were bringing beer. I would have bought more beer. We're gonna have to get into the whiskey on the after party. It's gonna be a fucking mess. That's what the after party's for. Is a whiskey. That's I what know. the whiskey is for. Is the after party. Right. Is what I meant to say. Also, Ken sent me a really nice care package with a bunch of Mr. Puff Puffs. Nice. But this dude Brian. 
Not to show you up, Ken. Sent me this bag with 15. I saw that post. And some of them are freaking Cubans. Like, whoa. The guy's like, this. I said, this is a very dangerous bag that you sent me because if I learn the difference, and to be fair, Ken sent me a couple Cohibas too. Very nice gift. And good beers. <sighs> yes, Tim, you can have some of the chips. Tim, are you still not here? It's too late now. Whoa, P. Hansen is drinking his homemade wine. Nice. Strawberry wine. No. Okay. All right. I'm singing, so we need to get a giveaway and get Is out of here. UB40 song? <laughs> no, that's red, red wine. Oh. Okay. Last prize. This one's available internationally. Internationally. But you have to promise me you'll go look at the website or something, because Giant Loop very generously sponsored this giveaway. Thanks, Giant Loop. Yeah, and they were like, let's do an armadillo bag, and I said, a one gallon makes the most sense for motorcyclists, because oh. not every bike can use a two gallon. But every bike can use a one gallon. I wouldn't want to put a two gallon on my 450L. Um, That's the one that I got. It's the one gallon. But I would be comfortable putting a one gallon on my Tenere and knowing that I got a bunch more range. So, uh, one gallon armadillo bag. So that is the fuel bag. People always ask me, can I put gas in it? Because they're technically not allowed to say that because there are basically the testing requirements only apply to rigid fuel containers. Yep. So you can use volatile motorsports liquids. Yes. So it's a, it's a liquid power reservoir, and also the ca the cap is invented, and the EPA requires you to have a vented cap, but that wouldn't work for what we, for what this is. So technically, yeah. So it's designed to carry fuel. You can put gas in it. That's what it's for. Um, one gallon. Collapsible, great container, and then uh, two cinch straps, two of the giant loop cinch straps. So you can attach it to whatever the hell you want. And I convinced Mike to throw in a giant loop T-shirt, which coincidentally I'm wearing. Also, flash. That's supposed to be for the after party. Uh, so get yourself a T-shirt too, and it doesn't matter where you live. Um. This one's open international. Any questions? Does anyone not know what we're giving? This is a teaching trick I learned. You don't say. Does everyone understand? Because everyone just goes, mm-hmm. You yeah. say, does anyone not understand what we're giving away? Is anyone not sure how to enter? Has anyone not figured out that the giveaway hasn't given up yet? Started yet? You grew up in the woods near Marcola, so you rode Shotgun Creek a lot. I love Shotgun Creek. Yeah, you'll get my sweaty-ass fat guy shirt. No, you'll get one in your size sealed in a bag. It'll be brand new. <laughs> uh, I still have not been to Shotgun. Or Huckleberry. Well, Huckleberry's half closed right now because it burned. Right. But the good side's open. The, the, so it's interesting because there's like a, a logging road that runs right through it. And the left side is all pretty flat um, with some fun hills. And the right side is like super steep. Mm. So I hate the right side. I always ride the whole left side and then cut back and do it again. Mm. So I'm actually not sad. I can't believe it. Okay, you got to bring your bike down here and let's go. Mm -hmm. Shotgun sucks, but you need to experience it. Yeah. There's a couple good trails. It's not gun. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, it's better in the spring. I would totally bring a 450 down here. Well, and there's I know where the single track trails are that aren't all rutted out and shitty cuz ATV riders don't go on them all the time. Oh, I remember I I was able to I was able to play my 450 for Prineville. Oh, right. Plated 450. Yeah. No, it's not a fuel bag. Yeah, it's a bag that you can't put gas in unless you do. Shipped directly from our friends at Giant Loop. Thank you, Giant Loop, for sponsoring my life and this giveaway. Thank you, Giant Loop, for saving Ben's life. Sponsoring Ben's life. They sorry. saved me from teaching. <sighs> Did I tell you I'm writing all their copy now, too? So, like, because Harold is the guy that's done it the whole time, and he's leaving, obviously, so he brought me up because I'm, like, the only one that's qualified because I have an English degree and like I was a right. professional writer for a long time so I'll, I'm doing all the website copy and um, I'm editing all the newsletter copy and nice. I'll be doing all the product descriptions and stuff going forward nice yeah it's pretty fun so because Paolo and I love the guy writes all the newsletters but English isn't his first language so I just go through and kind of polish it up for him um, so like the newsletters you're getting are all things that I've edited now pretty cool considering I get paid to do it and it does not take me very long because I'm right. really good at it yep. <clears throat> how often does he screw up the word your uh, not as often as you yeah yeah I mean I've been working it's not like I get paid to do nothing but 
Yeah, I'd only drink Rainier when I have to, dude. You know, they didn't have Coors Lights at <laughs> uh, at Spoken Moto. Otherwise, I'd have been drinking that. But Rainier was the only thing cheap in a can they had. Everything else is like thirty two percent and fourteen dollars. Rainier, you get a tall can; it's four bucks. So we drank a lot of Rania. Yeah, I bet. On the training weekends. Cheap enough you can buy one for a friend. There you go. All right, I got to give this away so we can get on the after party. It's going to take me 15 minutes to get it set up. Okay, I'm closing entries. Who do you think is going to win? No, they'll just be sad if they don't win. Don't, right. don't answer that. We're just going to make someone sad. All right, and the winner of the Giant Loop, one gallon. Welcome, Robert Graves. Cheers Gas so bag is... Alan Buller. I thought that said Butler. It doesn't. It says Buller. Alan Buller or Bueller. 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 Anyone? Yeah, I'm the old homeless guy with bad teeth in the Giant Loop videos. That's me, Paul. <laughs> that was a great comment. What a freaking idiot. That was, I was just like, what? <laughs> I, was, I literally filmed it in my garage, so clearly I have a house. Right. I don't know where you got homeless from, but whatever. That was a very cool person that I want to hang out with in real life. So like, just like the rest of us. Yeah, right. So I uh, we're going to switch over to the after party. So if you want to come hang out on the after party live stream, we're going to do probably another hour. Uh, smaller audience, easier to get your questions answered. All you have to do is either go on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Dollar a month, sign up. You can actually do a year at a time and save 20%. So you can sign up for a whole year for $10 uh, if you want to. And everyone gets the same benefits, early access to videos, all that. Trixie, relax. He didn't sit on you. He sat by you. Uh, channel member, same thing. It's just $2 a month here on YouTube. But I will post in a minute. So if you're a channel member or a patron, just hang on. It usually takes me five or ten minutes. I have to go in, set up a new stream, copy the link, and then post it. I will post it in a channel members only link on my YouTube community page. So go to the YouTube community page and uh, wait. Refresh it, I guess. You'll get a notification. You should. And then on Patreon, you'll get a notification. I'll post it in a post over there. So, happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate. So happy to have hung out with you all. Thank you, Travis, for being here. Yep. Any final words? Uh, be excellent to each other. You should be excellent to each and other. And hopefully we're going to see you on the, on the after party stream. Yeah, we're going to be excellent to you on the stream right, right. now. Yep. I still Cheers. have a couple more beers in this whiskey time, boys. we got to get Travis drunk enough that he'll hang out and smoke a cigar with me before he leaves. Because I have a fire pit on the porch. And that's a big deal, because I actually quit smoking. I'm done with all that. We don't inhale. We Congratulations, don't by the way. How about a big cheers to Travis for stopping Thank smoking? You. Yes, finally. But uh, it's the nice thing about tobacco and cigar smoking is if you inhale, it's gross. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> super gross. Yeah, it keeps you from doing it, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here.